All right, welcome guys. Uh, last time, we actually already defeated Lokar, which was, um, well, to be honest, harder than expected, because Lokar really doesn't like uh, getting taunted by pets. It's kind of hard to like have pets taunt him properly. So, Lokar doesn't seem like, I mean, yes, you can still do it like very quickly on pet builds, but it's definitely not like a quick kill, right? It's not like a super easy kill. You have to like kite around a lot and so on. So, I don't know. He seems like... He seems to handle the pet aggro better than... Like, the pet taunts better than, say, Kalagata, for example. And for example, with Kalagata, right? Like, Irden, uh, he posted like a video like a couple days ago on Discord where like he had a, in my opinion, kind of like ridiculous Kala kill on a pet conjurer, like endgame conjurer. But if like Kala... I mean, I don't know. It should like sometimes actually attack the player, you know? And the so, player have to like dodge a bit more? I don't know, maybe that's like fine. And I feel like Lokar does that. But I don't know. I don't know what's like really better for gameplay for though, because like if the pets don't taunt properly, it also doesn't feel too good to play at some point, right? Anyway, uh, we are gonna finish this Act 7, first of all. And then... And then do what? And then finish... Uh, I don't know, I guess we just kill Lokar again. I could like... Properly try gearing this character, or like try maybe some other Ubers, like some other yes, Celeste no. bosses. Not sure. Not sure, not sure to be honest. Okay, how do I play this game? I feel like I haven't played this game in like months, even though it was like only three days. But, um, yo, boy, kisser, work on, work on. Also, we have to think about what build I should do next after this one. Or maybe I should like just uh, look at more of my endgame builds again and like update the remaining ones that I haven't done yet. There's still like a ton to go, right? I'm not playing, my pets are playing. I mean, yeah, I can read chat in the, in the meantime, right? Vanilla or Season? I'll probably play only vanilla stuff uh, until like 1.2 is actually out. I'm not gonna bother playing Season 5 too much, I mean... I think it's amazing, and uh, everybody who hasn't played it yet should definitely try it out. But when it comes to like content for YouTube, I just see the content being on 1.2 official patch right now. And then also, whenever I'm not streaming, I have to work on season six, right? So I don't, I can't really like mess around with season five anymore. To be honest, I just have to like work on season six instead. Riggs, even though Sentinel. Hmm. The eye. The evil eye. The ancient evil eye. That's shit, Radiant Jet. Let's craft that. Is the music still too loud, by the way? Maybe. I guess World of Warcraft music is just very bombastic. So. Feels loud. Maybe it's also like just me being sleep deprived and thus like thinking it's loud. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Is the music too loud? Tell me if it's too loud. I can tune it down a bit. Turn it down a bit. It's fine. It's okay. Okay. Maybe I'm just a little sensitive right now. Like my ears are sensitive. <laughs> I must try a fire war cry with Harwool and messenger gun. I don't know, before playing like something like that, I might as well like spin the wheel to be honest. Right? Then I might as well just spin the wheel instead. Spin the spin the randomness. The wheel of randomness. Play like a wheel build. Which honestly would probably be kind of fun. I'm not sure how good it would be content, but it would definitely be fun. He was playing a pet conjurer on hardcore. Nice, nice, nice. Based on the playthrough. Oh yeah, I should uh, release more episodes, but I kind of forgot to set them up. Properly. Only having the first one out there is a little awkward right now. More tonight, I guess, or like tomorrow at the very least. 
You just got to level 70 and done with Elite. Nice, nice. Uh, then you went to the supermarket and when I came back, I was live. I am indeed sometimes live. Not enough, I feel like. I kind of wanted to be... Bitch Wards just work as well. Mm, I guess. I always found like Bitch Wards being a little like bad with quality. But... Also, <clears throat> I don't make as much money from Twitch bots as I make from YouTube bots, so... I mean, it's like almost no money either way, but... Like what, instead of like 50 cents, I make like 60 cents or something like that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I could, I could check, right? Like, just so you like know, right, how much like... A VOD on YouTube like actually earns you. Like my last, like the episode one has like 4,000 clicks right now, right? With like average watch time of like half an hour. And if you go like to analysis. And it's uh, for, for so for like 4,000 clicks, right? It's it's $18. Which is actually more than 60 cents. Yeah, yeah. no, no. The, av the average watch time on my VODs are like actually not bad at all. It's, it's definitely like, I mean, that's why I put them there, right? Because I know people actually watch them. Otherwise I wouldn't do that. It's not bad at all. Average Steam game demo is like 10 to 30 minutes. I mean, this is Grim Dawn though, right? Like, come on. <laughs> Grim Dawn is just better, right? You watched all of the Aether Dual Gun series, was fun. Nice, nice. Honestly, Aether Dual Gun had like some, some moments every now and then when I felt like it's, it's not like in the best spot, but I mean, compared to this build, for example, this build is kind of just like face roll compared to like Aether Guns. Do these thunder, by the way, these rocks? I know, like, there is one boss where those rocks thunder, but I'm not sure if, like, every boss that has those rocks has those ro rocks thunder you. I should have, like, actually tried to get hit there. Good, Hello. you're back. Yo, Hello. Maxus! Hello, hello. Hello, my bloomer. How are you doing? Welcome back, welcome back. Oh my god, what the fuck? I need to like make a bot command for this. Why am I so stupid? Holy, I can't even copy paste. <laughs> uh, do I, am I even a streamer? Am I even a streamer? I wonder sometimes. <clears throat> you were gonna say, you. Uh, I wanna have your babies when I said you wanna divorce, like fill out the divorce papers. I mean, why not both? <laughs> okay, no los dos. Yeah, I'm new to streaming, guys. New to Grand Dawn. First time streaming, sorry. Gloria. Okay, what do I even do, like, content wise in this stream? Like, I mean, I can do, like, bourbon clones. I honestly have not bought bourbon clones at all in 1.2. I don't even know if they sunder. Maybe they sunder, too. Has anybody, like, even bothered testing bourbon clones? I don't think I've seen a single post about bourbon clones so far. They might be actually crazy now. I have no fucking clue. I have no idea. Bourbon clones are doing now. Oh shit, I just realized I have like a super boss guy, right? Like a Celeste boss guy for the six bosses. I'll have to remake that, right? Fuck. I mean, eh. I'm not sure, maybe I should just like wait for like 1.2 to settle and like global player feedback to like come in crashing on crate because I have a feeling the average Grim Dawn player is... I mean, while I think Sunder is awesome, I think like the new Ravagers are pretty cool. I have a feeling the average Grim Dawn player is gonna think it's like a bit too much. Like, some people are even saying like... Like, for them, they basically deleted Celeste bosses from the game because they don't feel like doing them anymore. Mm. Which is a little sad, but... I think they're pretty cool, man. But then again, I think I like... 
uh, skill-based content a bit more than maybe the average RPG player. It just likes to grind and that's it. Just like rise and grind out gear, right? I mean, understandable, right? Like, that's ultimately what RPGs are mostly about, I guess. And, like, mechanics and so on are rather secondary. It's not a Dark Souls game after all. I mean... Even though I think it's fine to have like some elements, at least for like for certain bosses. Like certain bosses should be maybe like a skill check. Or at least like partially a, a skill check. And is the game journalist difficulty gonna be added? I mean that's normal, right? Normal difficulty is basically journalist difficulty. I mean you can't feed Ravager on normal at 100, I guess. Because normal like levels up all the way now as well in some regions. I mean, you can do it on Elite, right? You can literally do this, like, Ravager on Elite and, like, get the Hammered, like, even the purple one, the Legendary, on Elite. Um, at least in the base game. I'm not sure if I gated the purple Legendary Hammered, um, the ultimate only in the league. I think I might have done that, actually. Because I'm an elitist jerk, I guess, but... Yeah, it is It is like a pinnacle. I mean, they're supposed to be pinnacle bosses, right? Like, the pinnacle... ...bosses... I feel like when, like... For example, when, like, AOM came out... I feel like they were a lot, a lot harder than they are in 1198. So I personally think, like, considering how the game was, like, back in the day... ...their difficulty now is totally fine, like, totally fine. But I feel like many people that either started playing Grim Dawn later, or got like, just... I would say that, like, uh, used to, like, 1.1.9 1, 1 like, 1. 1. Grim Dawn difficulty in general. I feel like those people just hate the change so much, even though it's... It's not even like Grim Dawn changing a lot, it's more like just going back to the roots a bit more. I mean, okay, like, the Sunder and the Wade mechanic is kinda new, but... You have to compare Sunder to Resistance Reduction, right? And to, to compare to Resistance Reduction, I think Sunder is... ...less toxic, actually, because if you... ...don't know about Resistance... Like, it's more clear to the player. Like, I think for new people starting out on 1.2 that haven't played any Grim Dawn before that... ...it should feel more uh, intuitive for them to, like, play around Sunder. But... Obviously, you can't outgear Sunder, whereas you could outgear Resistance Reduction. Um, and Resistance Reduction on bosses was, I guess, initially planned to be something that you are not supposed to outgear. It was more like supposed to be like mechanics. So, in a way, that's why like Xanta is saying like their the super bosses are more akin to their actual original design now than they were in the past. But eh. But is it as hard as Diablo 4? But is it as hard as Diablo 4? Yeah. Might have missed it, but in there was Ben. Now, you might have missed it, but in there was a clip of a blind gamer, Tylenif, defeating our hardest boss, Uber Lilith. Now, we strive to make Diablo <laughs> as approachable I and as accessible yet, dude. as possible, and watching clips like that makes Actual me and blind the team beat it. <laughs> extremely proud. And of course, I love the tattoo. Ben. Now, you might have missed it, but in there was a clip of a blind I mean, gamer it's, it's all about how you word it, right? And this, like, I mean, all these guys, right, like Rod, Rod Ferguson and so on, they're like master of PR, obviously, so they always twist it in a way so that, like, it, it, it makes Diablo look good, right? So you can say, like, oh my god, it's like a very inclusive game, and even a blind person can play it, right? Like, oh my god, it's crazy, right? It's so good. Uh, or you could say the game is piss easy, but... Now, we strive to make Diablo as approachable <laughs> and as accessible yet, as possible. And watching clips like that makes Actual me blind and the team beat it. <laughs> extremely proud. Actual blind gamer, yeah. Anyway. Imagine if that gamer wasn't blind, though. I mean, that's the thing, right? If you can already beat the boss if you're blind, then if you're not blind, it wouldn't even make that much of a difference. Because. The skill floor that you have to like overcome to beat the boss is so low 
that being better than that, like, it doesn't even matter that much anymore, right? Not accessible for dog tamers, though. Yeah, nobody sent help. Nobody sent the dog tamer any help, so... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously, like... I mean, I, I wonder, like, I, I need to, like, look at the clip, I guess, of the blind gamer, like, actually defeating Google Dodo. Like, if he actually, like, did any mechanics and just, like, you know, memorized, like, had something to, like, tell him when to, like, jump or ho however he did it. Or maybe he was, like, playing with controller and you, like, feel the vibrations in the controller, right, when you get hit. So you, like, basically, like, time out. I mean, not time out. You make, like, a, like, a, like, a mind map, like, a time, how do you say that? Like a timeline map in your head, basically, of like when your controller like was vibrating, right? And then you like basically jump at the right moments, or like you wait at the right moments, right? Uh, and that way you can beat it. Or if it was just like outgearing it completely, and uh, I don't fucking know what is that. Have this guy again. This is gonna fucking DMCA me, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, he's cool and all, and the clip's pretty nice, but he's using, like, DMCA music, I'm pretty sure. Not sure. Which is, like, fine for shorts and so on, but... I've seen it, though, I think. It's, it's a good one, yeah. Is wow music not DMCA? Any game music isn't really. At least it's like definitely fine for like uh, fair use. Let's say it like that. Yeah, if it was like Nintendo, then I I wouldn't do it. <laughs> but Blizzard has been not as crazy as Nintendo when it comes to DMCA stuff at least. Actually, more reasonable than Nintendo. And it's also always like free advertisement, right? Like if you're playing a mu like a music from a game, and somebody in chat is like asking, "Oh, what game is that from?" Right? And you say it's from this and that game, right? Then it's basically free advertisement for the game. So. Leave a portal here. Come back and uh, get the portal first. Then. No pets. Yeah, most of them are one point. It's only Baratheon, pretty much. I mean, there's like stuff that adds bleeding damage, though. So. Right, so you want to like stack the bleed from different sources? Question mark. I mean, feel free to correct me. I'm honestly not that good at building pets. Uh, this is from World of Warcraft. It's uh, the heart of Pandaria. I mean, this is my allocation right now. Raven, one point, one point, and Storm Spirit for Elibras. One point, one point, one point. This point here for DR. This for like. I mean, it's kind of useless, but whatever. This one is also kind of useless, honestly. Uh, should put like 12. I mean, this is a one pointer, actually, I think. And this is like, well, kind of maxed. One here, one here. This is also for Fizz DR and what? Well, Brock stuff, right? Barathorn maxed out. This one maxed out. This one one pointed. I feel like probably maxing out Promise Spirit might be better. In a way, if you get like the skill points, though, I don't know. You don't know either? <laughs> what do you mean? Haven't you been playing like pretty much non-stop only pets for the last like two months now? <laughs> On the playtest? What do you mean you don't know either? <laughs> anyway, Baratheon is the one doing the heavy lifting of course with like... I mean I got this one at level 70, I'm using level 70 offense though. So it's a bit crazy but I mean... The craziness is offset a little bit by like not being level 94. Then I'm obviously using Sand King, I got this in like 10 minutes. 
Uh, I mean, I guess you can also like spend two hours or more to farm this. I got a little lucky there. Um, I have this, obviously, right? No, no like special augments. I mean, no special affixes really. Aggressive prefix, obviously useless. Charge prefix, obviously useless. So like of the wild and the untamed. Bismil thingy. This is of caged souls. I mean, you get these like I have like five of these already, I think, or at least two. Uh, Cabalus of Protection for the Wendigo medal here. I should probably craft the Faction medal, Overseer, or whatever it's called. Then I have a level... This is a level 40 belt, I think. I need to refarm this or like craft a new one, actually. There's like a, some craftables that are good as well. Ancestor. Taskmaster Bismil of nothing. I mean, the gear is not special at all, right? The open is a little crazy, but... The thing is, <laughs> I I also have a triple rare Wendigo gaze. I also found it like last stream, but I refused to use it because like using two triple rares would have been like a bit crazy. And it's not even like just a triple rare, it's pet prefix and pet suffix triple rare as well. But I'm not using it right now. That's like too fucking unethical, man. <laughs> oh yeah, and Krabal Shoulder Guards. These are, these are level 55 as well right now. Imperius of the Cabal. I didn't even get like pet affixes, I don't know. I tried farming this guy like 10 times. I didn't get a single pet affix and was like, eh, fuck it. I, I'm not gonna bother. That's kind of 1.2 life. Yeah, I feel like it's a tiny bit too easy now. Especially like considering they wanna like... Put re-rolling in the game as well with things about the car. I feel like with old, like, rarity drop rates, it made more sense than now, maybe? I don't know. Now it feels like rerolling might be too much? I don't know. I mean, Grimdor is kind of generous with the drops anyway. Kelly and Swarm. Hey, what? Hey, what Swarm? One. Oh yeah, I'm also uh, thinking about, like, should I play Physical Bleed Hybrid? Like, I could play Assassin's Mark instead of Night Talon, right? I'm also not sure if this is, like, that good, but I mean, it's it's like a... I have two points here for rest right now. You can, like, get the uh, OA, I think, here for pets instead of OA and DA. Well, that's what I'm playing right now. Uh, I mean, it's obviously got nerfed now, right? A bit. Like, Madrome is weaker than before, and Ishtak is stronger. Maybe it's time to switch over to Ishtag for hardcore at least. I mean, this seemed definitely like still totally fine for, for leveling so far. I mean, I would assume like Ishtag is... I mean, it's always kind of been like that. Like if you want to like push deep SR and so on, right? You want to like play Tree of Life and Ishtag. And if you want to go for speed and you play Mokjogan. I guess it's still true, just like Mokjogun is a little weaker than before, and Ishtag is a little stronger than before. Playing double damage RR is enough for pet resistance. I mean, we have like this, right? 47 bleed, and then like another 36 bleed here. Let's go take on itemization for a game. Uh, I mean, drops should matter. Ideally, ideally all drops matter, in a way. I mean, it's fine to have like maybe like one or two trash tiers that like matter a bit earlier and then never, like, not anymore later. But... I mean, itemization is so hard because, like, on one hand, you have people that, like, enjoy crafting, enjoy, like, actually thinking about gear, and then you have other players that just want to see the quality tag, and they want the quality tag to, like, do all the thinking for them, right? So they just, if they see, like, an epic, they're going to equip the epic, and it's going to be guaranteed better than a rare. If they see a legendary, it's going to be better and guaranteed better than, like, an epic, right? Uh, it's hard, man, it's hard. I personally think, like, all should matter. Um, in a way, and there should be like some, be some uh, 
I think Last Epoch honestly does it like generally really well. Last Epoch is pretty good. I mean, Grim Dawn also has pretty good optimization. Just Grim Dawn has like awkward blues and awkward yellows. Mm. And also, well, two colors for two different types of items, like the normal greens and the MI greens, which shouldn't really be a thing either, in my opinion. But I don't know about Last Epoch doing it well. No. Yeah, for endgame, okay, for endgame it kinda is questionable, that's true. Cause like, I feel like our last book already has like maybe too much power creep on items. That's why we sort out all the rest. I mean, it, it also gives like people something to work for, I guess in a way. Ali has, I mean, itemization is always hard to be honest. But you need to start simple, in my opinion. You need to start simple and get like the basics right. And then you can add on top if you really wanted to, but... I think the basics need to be like very simple, to be honest. Like, there's a... Uh, like a beauty in... Simplicity, to be honest. Grimdon, you hate seeing items that I like, but you don't have the level 94 version of it. Yeah, the low-level legendaries and blues are... I mean, they're good for leveling, of course, right? But it can be a little annoying sometimes. Do I like affixes and suffixes? I mean, as an ARPG player, I, I think that's what like makes itemization generally interesting. Without affixes would be not that interesting. Uh, what I think Room Dawn does actually not that good is, um, and I think Last Epoch is doing this maybe a little bit better, but also not perfect actually. The the white items, right, like the base items in Room Dawn, they have like only armor, right, and that's it. They have no other implicits at whatsoever. So like literally only the affixes matter. The only exception is like Castle Gears having like energy regeneration. That's that's kind of it. I like the minus RR percent meta. I don't mind debuffs existing in general. Otherwise, you're forced into like hybrid damage builds, right, to, to kill stuff. Or you just wouldn't have resistances on enemies. In Grim Dawn, obviously, like minus percent RR and also like it's stacking is pretty crazy. Let's go back here. There's body armor with armor and movement speed. And in PoE. I mean not in Grand Dawn, right? What up one the witch gods are united? Oh, what game are you talking about? Like Last Epoch has like more implicits, right? Yeah yeah, Last Epoch is more interesting. Um the one problem I have like with Last Epoch system is that while I think it's Definitely already like more interesting. Um, say you have like a certain implicit at a certain like level range, and you would like to use it later on as well, but there is no like end game equivalent of that. Uh, that kind of feels a little bad that you can't like have like an end game variant of that same implicit. Or, oh yeah, we really like even killed Looker twice. Sorry, back. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Another attribute point, sure. Let's 
I guess physique, right? Is what I want. I need like 724 spirit for like level 94 offhand, but. What is your guys' take on this guy's uh, Sunder, by the way? Like being applied from the Ravenous Earth. I mean, there's like a big orange animation when he does it. But then again, like, many things in this game are big and orange, I feel like. Can we change FXs in 1.2? Or is it scheduled for the expansion? That is for the expansion. Uh, 1.2 is gonna increase the drop rate of like rare epics though, so you already would have an easier time getting the items you want, I think. Dude, when like pets have like full taunt, it's like... I don't know. <laughs> AFK simulator. And he's art style is a bit too card. I mean, yeah, art style is like a bit different. I mean, every game is like a bit different art style wise. Some people like the more vivid colors, other people think it's too cartoonish. I think both art styles of Grim Dawn and Atlassian Book are kind of fine. Uh, I personally like Grim Dawn's art style and direction more. But. I'm fine with both, to be honest. Like, I, I like RPGs to be like a bit like dark and gritty. I don't want to like run around and kill fucking like teddy bears and unicorns, you know? That's just cringe. That's if it gives you some sort of 2000s game vibe. <laughs> Wait, and Grim Dawn doesn't? <laughs> There's a totem here, right? Oh no, it's on the other side. Shit. Blizzard, is always, Blizzard always had insane aesthetics. Yeah, the traders especially. Honestly, like for example, World of Warcraft, I think has shit graphics and always looked like a cartoon in my opinion. Like, I, I just never liked it. Like, the Warcraft 3 is already like, almost too much for me. And World of Warcraft was like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, art style was like, terrible for me personally. Um, I hated it. It's an old MMO. But like the style doesn't matter how old it is, man. Like you can still like it's how you style the game, and it has nothing to do with like actual graphics. And World of Warcraft went for like a kind of like a toon style, which I didn't like that much, but it's fine. I mean, other people liked it. I mean, that's fine, right? They have like different opinions. Uh, I, for example, like the StarCraft like art style way, way more. Um, I also almost felt like StarCraft 2 was too cartoonish as well. But compared to World of Warcraft, it was still like fine. Like, for example, look at the Protoss units in like StarCraft 1 compared to like StarCraft 2. Like, in StarCraft 2, they have like, I don't know, just way more like shiny ornaments and stuff. And StarCraft 1, they don't really have it too much. I mean, they have it a bit, but it's a bit more like. Dark and gritty, and not as like over the top as in StarCraft 2. I mean, by now, like, I've gotten used to World of Warcraft, like, having those aesthetics, and I think they are, like, fine. They're definitely not my favorite. Like, still not, but. And I, I mean, I've never played WoW anyway, like, why should I care, right? And I probably never will read really either, so. Well, who the fuck cares? I mean, I don't care at least. Classic Season of Discovery. Honestly, I like Diablo 3 art style more than World of Warcraft art style. But it's also kind of cartoonish, of course, like when you're coming from Diablo 2. Right, it's, it's definitely cartoonish as well. Borderlands is different, like... Borderlands is also cartoon, yes. But Borderlands like reminds me more of like those like like 80s or like 90s like Belgian or French comics, you know? Like those like comics that are like like not for kids. I don't know, like it it has a 
has a different touch to it. Whereas World of Warcraft is just like... Like, Borderlands is not as, like, bright and colorful. So it, it looks more like you drew a cartoon on, like, a piece of, like, news, like old newspaper paper, right? It's not like shiny Disneyland uh, cartoon style. Your walk and workman. Yeah, it's not like those that Mauer shit, you know, like it's not like that. It's more like less less bright colors, you know. Like a bit I don't know, I'm supposed to say it. Like I'm I'm terrible at art. Like explaining art is even worse. I'm a bad artist. Bad performance artist. I can only say like it looks good to my eyes or I can say it looks bad. That's all I can say. Let's just announce the world soul saga to project WoW in the next three decades. Who's Metzen? I have no idea. And what is the world soul saga? And what is project WoW? And what is the next three? I mean, what? No, I know what the next three decades means, I guess. Yeah, the only thing I understood in your sentence is like the next three decades. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a boss here. I, okay, I guess. I guess I'm playing pets and can just like continue reading chat, right? You understood three? <laughs> uh, what are those? Double rare? Eight the fire of the sands? Like, imagine if these items had like an actual like interesting prefix space. Imagine, imagine, right? Three is the number of two. Are you sure about that? Have you tried proving it? Uh, so, okay, there's like a storyline of the next multiple expansions for the next three decades. Huh. What, what is Project WoW? Is it like a mod or... Is that like the actual World of Warcraft devs? Or, and who's Chris Madsen? I mean, I, I knew Madsen is a, is a person. I still don't know who Chris Madsen is. Anyway. It is too late, my chosen. Actually, no, I'm not even a chosen here, right? Okay, so DPS is not the best, right? I mean, I can just chill here, like, pets should take zero damage. He died. Oh, that guy! The, the, the voice of Thrall guy? Wait, isn't he also... Wait, is he... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's an OG, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think I remember now who you mean. Came back to head to WoW. To lead WoW back to the true path. Imagine if it's just like a PR move by Blizzard and he like literally does nothing. I 
uh, to project. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, I was, I was like, either thinking that, or also I had something like you know, project Diablo two in my mind. So I was like, mm, wait, is this a mod or is he just like project projecting? No. Projecting, yeah, projecting. I mean, that's not like the same thing, but yeah. Yeah, more like directing, yeah. It's funny how like to project means Yeah, basically like to to lead to design, right? But projecting is a little different. And I guess if you like take a projector and then project your design for the next like, you know. I guess it's coming from that, right? Come, little human. Come, little human. I will make this quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's definitely horrible. Like, loot is garbage too, right? Like, it's so much... It's so much harder to... To get, like, pet affixes now, right? Because, like, all the useless ones get removed, so... It's so hard to, like, every time you sell, to, like, just write pets in the sell window, in the buyback window, rather. And then choose from what you have there. It's so fucking hard to gear pets now, holy shit, dude. No, like, seriously, it got, like, literally, I think, twice as easy to gear pets than before. Like, I always told people, like, okay, like, pets are nice for beginners, and, like, especially for hardcore, because they're really safe. But if you don't have the gear yet, then you might feel like they're a bit hard to gear because like the random ass gear doesn't have that many like pet affixes and you can like struggle like well getting the rest up for your pets and yourself i have like kept all rest since like 20 levels already pretty much like only looking at like greens like random drop greens pretty much and of course like you know farming some monster frequency but i mean that's what you do in every build right I mean, you have to move against meteors maybe a bit. 42 fuzzlers. It's not 80% yet, right? Not yet. You get hit, Giant's blood prox. Okay, I have to probably press pet attack on this guy here, maybe. Oh no, he already died, never mind. Fuck, I just saw my pets. Terrible timing. Oh no, he's gonna hit me. I only have 17k HP and 42% Fizzrus on a beginner build after 20 hours. <laughs> oh no, I have no way to reach except for Giant's Blood and Blood Rig. Or I can stand and like, use Pot and stand in the totem as well. Oh, he has aggro on the pets now, I can AFK again. Oh shit, maybe not. Huh? Okay, wait, the meteors like, don't even deal damage. Fuck! I thought I'm gonna like take half my HP here, never mind. Uh, insane. Okay, I mean, yeah, kill time is definitely not that good, right? But like, remember fighting this on Oppressor or like Reaper where I actually have to move around? And dodge stuff? Pets are not the same. <laughs> they are just not the same, man. I don't know what to say. Pets DPS is like dots. I mean, I'm playing, I'm literally playing dots on pets, so it's even more ramping damage than maybe like flat damage on the pets. But yeah. yeah, how many hours am I in? 22, 46. I mean, I did like two local runs in between, so lost some time to local there. I, I don't think I've even pressed the evade once. Callback. His count has. Do not. You are. Do not. You are. 
do not we must mm. you are do not we must mm. do we must mm. we must do, mm. do not we must do, do not mm. we must do not we must do not we must do, do not we must do not we must do not think to all right, I mean, all your gear pets, right? You sell all your items, you write pets here, and you sell all greens and blues, rather. You want to keep legendaries, obviously, for like maybe other builds, I don't know. And like, look at, well, if it says pets, right, you buy back. Or like, look at it properly and then buy back or not. Depending on if you want to save that item or not. Go Ravager now. Yeah, Ravager might be scary with the skier, honestly. Still. Or at least take a long while. Uh, I want to get to 100 first, though. I don't want to, like, cheese Ravager when he's, like, lower level than, like, 100. I also think, like, Ad may look uh, Ravager and Locker and. All the Ubers, they sh like all the Celestas, they should not scale down to your level. They should always be like a fixed. Should be like a fixed level. In my opinion, but because it's kind of weird. Right? Like you, Ubers are or like Celestas are technically the easiest if you're fully geared, but you're level 94. And that's so weird. It's just weird. That'll be a rip or loss of kiting. I mean, probably like half an hour fight, yeah. Not gonna lie. <laughs> probably like half an hour fight for sure. Uh, like at least with this damage right now, it's not like that good. I mean, I could use the one metal I found earlier, maybe. Alright, I need like speed still though. Uh, how are my devotions looking like? Are they maxed? 14, I mean, basically, almost, quite, not quite. Yeah, pets uh, are horrible against off flush for sure, right? I fought uh, Ravager of Mines on normal while leveling, but I mean, it's only like normal, right? So. And the pets, do they care about getting nullified? I don't know, maybe not that much. I mean, I think they do care a bit, but... We need XP. Oh yeah, what's the other metal again that I had? I found this one, right? The Wraith Bound of the Wild. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, yeah they'll, they'll probably like die a bit. Like a bunch. I should also like maybe refarm this one. Okay, I should like level now via like farming gear. So what I need to do is I need to like farm this helmet maybe. I need to farm... Do I even bother farming the offhand? I'm not sure. Okay, I should farm this. Um, this is level 92 only. I mean, that's probably... F hmm. Oh yeah, what about the belt and the, and the metal that I can also crown from these guys? Where is it? I think I already bought it. Let's check the vendor. Uh, the smith, rather. Farm for Relic. I already have Prime Instinct. I just didn't want to use it because it's like kind of unethical to like use it already. Like when you're like playing SSF, you know. But I mean, I could make like I could craft it, right? I would just have to like farm nine Manticore eyes, though. Ay ay ay. Okay. Uh, what do we have? What's it called? Over Overseer. The Overseer. This one. Yeah. I bought it last time. Yeah, should we play this instead? Yeah, alongside Walkman. Yeah, sorry for the late stream. I'll stream earlier tomorrow, I think. The eyes will take a while as well. I mean, it's not that hard. Just farm Ogara a bit, right? Maybe like 20 runs or something like that. You're gonna get like 9 for sure. The Overseer. The Overseer. I mean, the, the crit damage is just good, right? The crit damage is great for bleed, and especially like great when you want to like stack crit bleeds against ubers, like Celestials, right? Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, not sure. I'll, I'll definitely like start farming with the shoulders a bit now, though. Let's start with that. I think I need like more subjugator prefixes maybe. I mean ideally like the rings have subjugator prefix as well. What's my percent pet, pet, uh, damage right now? 1, 2, 90. Is that good? Like considering... Where I am right now with my build. A thousand plus is already good for pets? Really? Hmm. Interesting. Is it? I mean, damage is a bit low, not gonna lie. It does seem a bit low. I mean, I don't have like endgame gear, I don't have like double bra thorns, so, like beast quarters and stuff like that. Right? So, I mean, it's definitely like fine for the for the like, damage to be this low because the pets never die, and I don't die ever anyway. So it's probably fine. And Kuba, I mean, it takes a lot, like a small while to kill him, but ultimately, he's kind of as a joke. Okay, let's go, Kraval. I feel like I wanna maybe check out the shoulders and like their like drop tables because I have a feeling the Phantasmal Blade's shoulder gets like pet affixes more often than the pet one, than the pet shoulder. Like maybe the drop tables have like the wrong affinity. Uh, or I just got unlucky last time I found this guy, I'm not sure. Honestly, following this combat is a bit annoying, because, like, you have to spam pet attack on him every now and then, otherwise, you're not gonna properly attack him. Oh, yeah, also the pets are fumbling, right? I can't open that. Oh, just, what are you doing, pets? Kill him. Okay, let's see here. Glacial of readiness. Oh, I mean, it's the wrong one anyway. Okay. Okay. You can do a bounty to trade a corruption relic for a manticore eye. <laughs> Looks like pets are immortal in 1.2. I mean, it's just Brathorn. He has always been immortal. I think, generally, pets are more balanced in 1.2 than they were in 1198 because in 1198 and before Briarthorn was even even more OP <laughs> and the other pets were weaker so now at least like the pets are more balanced I think um, so we are getting into the right like in the right direction and Briarthorn is still kind of like the big tanky guy which is probably maybe fine I'm not sure A 
But I wonder at what point the offhand for for the Promise Spirit is better. I mean, once you have Beast Quarter, of course, then this is insanely good again because you have two Barathorns. But have I licked a spider in BG3? Licked a spider? I don't think so. I killed some spiders, and there was like a spider queen somewhere as well, but I think I've like tried licking a spider. There's probably like so many things I missed in Bottle Skate 3, like the game is massive. It's like no way you can find everything and like do every interaction. Dude, what is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this, man? It is no pet ethics. What what is the drop table of this item? That's so weird. How is it a triple rare but not a single like pet ethics? Like not a single like pet stuff. It's weird. Yeah, I feel like the drop tables are like maybe wrong on these two items. Like, it was the same with normal. I got like pet ethics on this one, but I didn't get pet ethics on this one. I mean, I can just check them out myself and then like report it to Xantai if they are like in worst. You level 70 character. I mean, yeah, that looks pretty much like what I'm doing as well. You could... Actually, I think now... Um... Oh, um... Hmm. On, on the current playtest version of 1.2 at least, it is a lot easier to get the Winnego Gaze now. Right? I, I didn't get this on Normal and Elite because when I played through Normal and Elite, this was still bugged. But now you can defeat, like, farm the three Winnegos from the one quest where you want to, like... Um, they gather the hearts for Ravager. And those three bosses can drop this metal now. So getting this one is a lot easier now than it was before. Um, and that's kind of like the reason why I was using the Hellhound one for so long. I mean, the Hellhound one is still nice for the uh, like mind control duration reduction, to be honest. Still helps a lot against certain bosses, but... Ultimately, the Brightborn one... Roll whatever you want in stone. Dying uh, Brawlthorn, you want to max it in Bouldering Presence, right? I mean, it's probably maxed in game, right? Just like different uh, skill points in 1.2 compared to like. On 1198. I mean, yeah, looks fine. I mean, it's pretty much the same as what I'm playing, or like what I have been playing. So, I mean, it will at least do fine. I'm actually not sure if this is like the best and the, the ideal way. What do you mean, Overseer? What do you mean, Overseer? <laughs> Literally, first drop, Overseer. It's unlucky though, it's a level 92 item, right? This quest has uh, 75k XP. What, the, what is it called? Yeah, what is it called indeed? Let's see. I mean, you just you just go there, right? And like, blow up the, the barrier and then kill the ghost. Uh, I don't know, what, what is it called? This the sorting of this is weird and horrible as well. Shit, not that. Oh 
Oh, this one. A stranger in need. Myla Finnegan. That's the one. A stranger in need. Yeah, you just go there, open the cave, go inside. If you keep her alive, you can't keep her alive. Like she, she is uh, the one attacking you. Kind of. You got two Wraith Bound Apexes. Just need like Black Legion Augments to fix the rest now. Nice. Yeah, honestly, like, uh, I mean, end game, right? You want like, I think, oh yeah, I could like get proper damage Apexes on my gear maybe now, right? There's like Apexes that give you actual damage for pets. I have no idea about Apexes. Uh, I mean, Augments, not Apexes. Augments. Um, and that's kind of why you want to fix your resistances and pets not via augments, I think, because you want to ideally for endgame, like, just use the damage augments. Um, but... I need to check it out properly in Grunt Tools, I guess. And then, like, see how I fix my rests without my current rest augments. And then we can hopefully get some quicker kill times in. Untamed. Is that good? Is it? I have no idea, honestly. I mean, the shrewd, the shrewd is pretty bad. It's percent cunning. That's horrible. Uh. uh what's my pet Pierce res? It's kind of hard to fix without this, honestly. Never mind. Wait, uh, wait, what? Hmm. I guess I don't need it. <laughs> oh, of the untamed is uh, is Fizzress for pets, right? Hmm. It's not a bad at all, then actually. Not bad at all. Okay, let me actually load up Grunt Tools real quick. Or like check. I'm gonna try color. Uh, uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I am not sure about that. With Ulu for Ishtak, you get extra Chaos Runs, yeah. Oh yeah, you want Ravager's Eye, right? On weapons. What's my bear home rep? Ah, almost there. I didn't buy the thing, shit. Otherwise, I would already be revered, right? What am I doing? Ah, I fell into the classic noob trap of not buying... Not buying the red. Dude, reds are. Just delete reds, man. Come on. I'll give you a good price of what I've got left. What do they have here? Damage for pets? Chest. Uh, so to get the rep with these guys, right, you want to kill Chthonians. Honestly, I could use this time window then to kill, uh, to farm Luna and Valgoth a bit. Let's do that. Shield of Binding, yeah. Hmm. So 
So we have this, we have an Overseer prefix if we want more Fizzlers for ourselves. But I think I'd rather want more Fizzlers for the pets, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather want to play Untamed, I think. Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay, uh, which means we're gonna go to Morndale. Acquire the Mother's Pendant. Did I do the... Oh no, I didn't do this one yet. Okay, let's do it then. Can someone trade with the, with you for the Beast Car Helmet Blueprint? Yeah, that's a pretty good one. I can craft it for you in Hardcore. If you give me some Uden Blooms. I don't, I don't even know if I have it on softcore, to be honest. I, uh, I don't even know if I still have like some softcore characters left. I mean, I think I have some actually somewhere. I need to find them though. There's nothing wrong with playing softcore. It's just like a different playstyle. Slightly different. It's not that different, to be honest. But a bit. You would have sub one minute Karaka and dual wield Spellbreaker all face tanked? Holy fuck. That sounds ridiculous. Don't show Zenta the link, otherwise he's gonna nerf it. And I assume your gear is also ridiculous. Because, like, Breaker needs ridiculous gear, right? I mean, it's really good with ridiculous gear, though. I think Apex system is what makes itemization interesting, right? At least from the viewpoint of like an RPG player, I guess. Oh yeah, you can probably get Beast Caller from Ancient Grove Blender, right? I assume. Buy more pots. I don't really like pressing the pot all the time, but I mean, what else do you even do on, like, on, on a pet build? Hmm. 
You have the time to press it anyway, right? You're not attacking yourself. Good, you're back. Is this a new expansion? Yeah, cool, Ren. Welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, this is Titan Quest 3. It's better than Titan Quest 1 and 2. Dude, I w did they like... They need to spoil something about TQ2, man. Do we even like know when it's gonna release? We just know it exists. That's all we know, right? TQ2 could be a really, really, really interesting, actually. Okay, what do we have here? What is this? Unlucky, I guess. Unlucky. Uh, how's better home situation now? Not even revered yet. So, well, let's do another Luna Vargo thrown then. I didn't even get the battle I want anyway. I don't need anything. Oh shit, did I not? I didn't do the quest, oops. Didn't kill the quest mob. We're gonna go from low and watch because here we have some cultists that can drop some sigils. It's worth more than like the other guys in Mammoth Outskirts. And also these are Chthonians, right? They're like Chthonian uh, related, so they give me more reputation with Bear home as well than the others would do. Yo, exiled Wilkerman. Uh, mythical Beast Quarter is just like a random drop. It can like drop from anything, anywhere. You can even get it from like a trash chest, technically, but chances are, of course, higher from like dungeon chests or like Nemesis or Shattered Realm or Crucible. Or totems, yeah, totems are pretty good, yeah. I mean, generally what you do for like random drop end game sets is you farm totems. Uh, especially like when you're not like min-maxed yet, right? If you are min-maxed, then you want to do like Shadow Realm or like Crucible. But before that, for like random gear farming, you just want to do totems, pretty much. And I need to finally memorize the spawn locations of this rift. Uh, it's like over there as well, right? Nemesis trolls are good too. Yeah. Uh, also diamond dynamite chests are like not that bad either, but I mean... Portals are just better, right? There it is. It's like, I mean, you do Nemesis and like Dynamite Shells like on top on the way to Totems. But you kinda just wanna do Totems, I think. And there are like some nice farming routes for Totems as well. Doing rep quests is so long. Every quest you use Google location. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I think bounties are annoying as fuck, yeah. The normal side quests are not. The normal side quests, I think, are like easy enough to memorize. But yeah, I agree, like, bounties need some work. Like, bounties are just not in a good spot. Like, gameplay wise, they can't feel bad. There's some bounties that are okay. But like some others are, you have no idea what the fuck the bomb is supposed to be. It says like for example, kill Storm Titan in the Steel Cap District. Dude, like Steel Cap District is like the half of the entire Mammoth map. Like, what do you mean in Steel Cap in Steel Cap District?
And it's also like so uninteresting, really like, I don't know. Like, like the bosses are just like your average elite most of the time. I mean sometimes you have like a, like about to like hunt down some side boss from like for example Lighthouse and so on that otherwise doesn't have a side quest to it. Which I think is fine, like those, those bounties are honestly like fine. They're not like super interesting either, but they're fine. Those are totally fine. But it's more painful, yeah, if it didn't reset. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you already killed him and then like... Yeah, that's true. That can be really annoying too. Like the bounty should just like auto-complete at that point, right? But it also doesn't do that. Should be like a well you have t already killed this guy so now you but yeah that doesn't doesn't work like that what would we have that's one is terrible too it's also the wrong one again the wrong one oh well You just asked a dev about the wolves killing you in the loading screens in Aspok. And he said it's a funny bug. Yeah, very funny, especially in hardcore. What is wrong with those devs sometimes, man? Like... Very funny. Like, what do you mean funny bug? Like, do you enjoy the game having the bug, or... Are you gonna actively work on, like... Dissolving that bug. I mean, I guess they are trying, hopefully. I mean, the guy doing the last streams is... He's a chill guy. Sometimes I feel like he has no idea what he's talking about, though. And, like, sometimes I feel like he's uh, taking stuff a bit too lighthearted. But... Generally, he's a chill guy. But also, I mean, I don't understand why they're, like, streaming every fucking week, dude. Like, you don't have anything to tell people. Like, you have, like, one mini-spoiler. Like, why even stream, you know? Just work on the game. What are you doing? I mean, it's fun in a way, but... I and I watched some of them, but, like, at some point I was just like... Why are you even streaming? What are you doing? I mean, it's supposed to do like Q&A all the time, right? Um, obviously. So you should know like a lot. Because it's to do Q&A. But... But like the amount of times he said like, I really like that, and we're gonna maybe have that, but I'm not quite sure. Or something like that, like a similar answer to that, it's like... He sends it like, um, to like every second question, I feel like. I mean, yeah, also like catching up with like everybody every single week. Cause I just think like every week is too much. Like they're streaming too often and there's like not enough like proper substance. You either have like the stream be always the same where like some people like ask the same like that are like actually new to the game. They ask like the same new questions every single stream, right? He spoils me with like one thing, like one, one new item or like one whatever. And you could just do like, I don't know, like five spoilers in one stream a month instead. Or he just doesn't know like what the current like development status is because he, it's so hard to like, you know, get in touch with like everybody every week and like get status up updates from everybody every week. It just it feels like such a massive like time waste almost. Like I think they should do them like once a month or like every two weeks maybe at most. The music is broken for you in Dusty Pock as well.
I, the music is broken, like it doesn't work on stream. My stream? The fuck? Throughout here? We cross throughout here? Stream every day, need bleeding edge updates. <laughs> Volsan login, bleeding edge, Volsan. Am I crashing? Wait, what's happening here? Why am I crashing? Yikes. Okay, that's the first 1.2 crash I had since like a month almost. Interesting. It seemed really stable like the last updates. Like very, very stable actually. Hmm. Let's crash the game. Maybe. That's why I don't play pets, right? That's why I don't play pets. Mm, I'm tabbing out like all the time for chat and like stuff that people like it. So it's usually fine. But generally, I mean, I feel like it's the case for every game though, like tabbing out in any game, like, slightly increases the chances of crashing in pretty much any game. I don't think, like, Grindorm is particularly bad when it comes to that, usually. We went to another official game stream. The devs have, like, Mike from 2001. Dude, Zentai also has, like, not the best microphone, man. Like, whenever Crate, like, Zentai does the Crate streams. I mean, he doesn't need to have, like, the best, the best, and it's not also, like, the worst, the worst, but... <laughs> it's not that good, really. I mean, mine's, mine isn't the best one, either. It's not perfect, either. It could also be better, I guess. But it's generally, like, already good enough. I need a proper pop filter, though, I think. Finally 100. Yep. Now I'm like instantly giga strong, right? That's how the game works. Okay, uh, what we're gonna find the portal as always. Maybe some totems, why not? Good, you're back. What? Six months already? Holy shit, Skunky, half a year already. Welcome back, welcome back to the bloomers. Much appreciated. Oh shit. I was actually standing in a pool. But I can AFK and pets. What is this? I got light lied to by myself. Welcome back to the bloomers. How are you doing? You enjoy, enjoy the pets, enjoy the pet build. Should have bought the level boost to 100. Yeah, I should have bought my battle pass. True, 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 true. You got your helmet? Nice. Congrats, congrats. Uh, yo, Envoy, welcome on. Uh, I have a question. Can you block damage from spells? Uh, shield block should work against, like, all hits. I'm pretty sure, right? Like, everything that's hit-based should be able to be blocked. And, I mean, 
some magic skills also hit, basically. So we should be able to block stuff from like magical hits as well. Yes, yes. Pet AI to advance for 1.2. Is it? I feel like Pet AI is still like kind of eh. It's okay, but not amazing. The third necro belt already. Never lucky. Never ever lucky. I think you can't block ground effects and you can't block. Well, obviously, you can't block dots. But I think all like other hits you should be able to block. Yo, Poil, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. There, there is never such a thing as like information about patches with crate really, to be honest. <laughs> it just doesn't exist. I mean, the only information we have is like it's ready when it's ready. And I assume they're gonna be ready by October, the end of October, but... Well, I guess they're gonna like need another like one or two weeks, we'll see. Did you guys, like, give feedback about, like, the... The Sunders on certain bosses that you still don't like at all? Like, Travis, for example. Did you actually make posts about that? There's a big pets and super bosses thread actually, interesting. Or is that actually old? I don't remember. Pets stats. Hmm. Yeah, was normal difficulty item drops and monster level scaling change at all? Uh yes. I mean all difficulties have been changed uh, like the same way, kinda. Uh, I mean, not. I mean, okay. When it comes to item drops, like all difficulties have been changed, right? Like all of them drop generally like less green items, like yellows and greens. However, the average quality of the affixes is gonna be higher. So on average, you're still gonna have like the same loot, or actually, usually even better loot than before, right? Even better loot, like even better greens at least. Uh, but you're gonna have like less clutter dropping and I like that change a lot generally it's uh, really good there was too much clutter dropping before and to compensate you also get more iron butts now you get like ridiculous amounts of iron butts actually now you don't really have to like sell as many items anymore uh, I mean you can still sell items of course I'm doing it all the time right but as you can see I also have like 7.5 million now which is a shit ton like this used to be way harder to get like this amount, at least. Uh, so yeah, that change is for all three difficulty when it comes to the items. When it comes to the experience, or like rather the level change of enemies, that is a change mostly for normal, I think. Maybe they also like slightly increase the level on elite for certain areas. I'm not sure. The modifications so item display make the rainbow filter unnecessary. Uh, oh yeah, I'm actually not using it right now, that's right. Um, I mean, it depends. Item, like, rainbow filter can still be very nice. It can still be very nice, to be honest. 
I think item food, like rainbow food, is still useful. But it is generally a bit less of a necessity than before. Not quite as necessary anymore. Tell you what, can it also drop the other one maybe at some point? Uh, what is this? The Necromancer one again. I got some really great plants though. Those are really great, by the way. I mean, are they actually though? buy the pots at some point, maybe now. You should just bo uh, drop both, like Krieg. Mm, I think it's fine that he doesn't drop both, but... I mean, the bird is really powerful, so... I don't even think it's that powerful on this bird in particular. But in general, the belts can be really fucking powerful. And Grimball is generous enough with items, to be honest. It's already, like, very generous. You could level 70 Kravar shoulders on normal. You can probably get level 80 shoulders on normal too as well now. Will it work? Alright, see you now. I uh, which expansion is this OST from? Lich King? Is it Lich King? I know, this, this one is called Ironforge, and the one before that was called Secrets of Uduar. I don't know where that is. Sounds good though. I don't know the WoW locations that well. Uduar is Lich King. Ironforge is vanilla? Okay. Isn't like Ironforge for like the dwarves are or something like that? Isn't it like dwarf territory? I mean, it sounds like dwarf territory at least. I have no idea. Dwarves and gnomes? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Classic. Right. Fantasy Forge equals Dwarfs. Uh, spawn 3 over here. There we go. A bit of rift. Now into the middle. To this portal. There was a dynamite chest that I missed. Oh, maybe I should like get it actually. Dynamite chests are nice. Gimme gimme. Eldritch Pact. Okay. That is uh, that's the blueprint. 
that is a blueprint. For a, well, pretty good relic actually, just not for pet builds. Dude, I kind of want to farm Kraval again though, like, I got a triple rare here, but it's zero pet stats. Hmm. What is this? Dude, I'm gonna, f okay, I'm gonna farm this boss until I get at least one occultist belt. I got five or six necro belts now? What the hell? What the hellings? <laughs> Playing a pet build, what the hell? Yeah. Basically blasphemy, I know. More blueprints for the upcoming water. If you guys want to see a water next? Should we, should we do a water next? I don't want to just like... Craft level 90 of course build. I could also do that, right? Which one is it again? Where do I get it? Is it Drieg or something? Magic roll the false wave build. Please no water, Petzl's already boring enough. <laughs> it's one of the factions in FG. Yeah, maybe I should do that instead, honestly. Definitely quicker and easier to like get good affixes because you could just craft. Honestly, like some crafting from Dawn should be like way more expensive than nothing. Especially like legendary sets, they're like sometimes super cheap. I'm not gonna lie, they're way too fucking cheap. Maybe it's a hot take, but I think they're way too fucking cheap. Solar. Well, good thing I fucked this up as well. Time <laughs> uh, for bounties, let's go. Login. Dude, why did I not. Oh my god, why did I do like Act 7 and like Korvac before even getting the fucking like. Mandates, what am I doing? 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 7,000 hours, by the way. Oh, he ripped the penalty guy? I mean, that was it. That's what's gonna be obvious that he's gonna die on that one. He really seemed to not enjoy penalties at all. I mean, there's few people that actually enjoy penalties. I mean, it looks good, I think. Like, it looks good, but it doesn't feel good. Okay, fuck this, dude. I got another necro belt. What is this? Hello? Drop rates? Question mark? Are they... are they... bugged, maybe? I'll give you a good price. 
Wait, I thought bleep net is unplayable, I thought it's over nerfed. What do you mean it's the best, huh? What? It's all nerfed, but still the best. <laughs> uh, sure. Sure, they all nerfed. Class dependent loot? No, there is no class dependent loot in this game. I'm just unlucky. Oh, wait, I don't even need to be revered. Unless I want to use some, like, organs? I don't want chaos damage. I don't need the poison damage either, honestly. I mean, I... Hmm. Okay, where do I craft for pets? Where does a pet build craft? Scout of the Realm. People are gonna tell me Scout of the Realm is over nerfed too. We've spotted a small group of Kaimans chosen that are fleet. Oh, another side quest. Let's go. You got your hand of the Baronoth recipe finally. Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do hidden uh, hidden path? I must, what am I saying? Should we do that dungeon too? Too with the heretic? Maybe, right? Maybe. Uh, okay, first I wanted to check out Bear Home because I have access to their augments now, right? Have you tried. I mean, you haven't tried Skull after you know, for us, so. Obviously, Skull Printer was a lot better. Obviously. See anything you like. Okay, so you can get like double Ravager's Eye here, right? Double Ravager's Eye gives you health and DA and your pets damage and OA. So that's kind of what you want. And lose a little bit of stun rest here, but I mean, that's totally fine. Now, what do I want on these augments here? I got like double Mender's Powder at the moment, and I'm not sure if I actually need that or not. Let's check again. So this one gives you no stance for pets except for Mender's Powder, right? When it comes to rest, Chaos Rest is kind of bad, okay. Hmm. How else do I... How else would I fix Chaos Rest for pets? They haven't even tried to be nerf. Uh, it was obviously unethical, right? Obviously unethical. Hmm. It's kind of funny, like, for pets, um, some of these, like, honored augments can be better than the revered ones. It's interesting. I mean, depending on, like, what you want to do exactly with them. But ideally, you have your rest fixed and then you get, just get damage, right? Okay, I think we could go, like, for some Morganoff stuff now. But I gotta... Go to the toilet real quick. Give me one sec. I'll be right back. BRB.
。OK。OK。OK、where was I? What was I doing? I was getting some damage from my pets through like Ravage's eye, right? Uh, 11:44. Oh, that's without the rock, right? And without the pot. Uh, that's actually restock on the pot. Uh, not in homestead. Wait, I wanna see what the um, damage percent is like if I prop this. Hey, wasn't that like higher before? I didn't have like 1200 before. What is happening? That's weird. Alright, let's just restock on this. And we should do... I'm gonna just do like two chill dungeons real quick and then like do low card again and then maybe like other bosses, right? So let's do Ancient Grove first. Tomb of the Heretic next. Uh, oh no, I should craft the belt first. What am I saying? What am I doing? I gotta craft the belt, right? And then we can do some dungeons. Where do I craft as a pet build? I mean, I guess I want to doubt Angrim out, but... And Grim it out. Where do you guys craft your... Your uh, pet gear? Cicero's or Angrim. I could like try like Petrifons or Freezer's. Percent heal increase? Where do they get percent heal increase? That's actually not the worst idea, to be honest. Maybe we make, uh, maybe we make like uh, 10 belts and like choose the best one. The FG Smith. That also has like stun rest and stuff, right? Let's see. Oh no, FG Smith is the hidden one on the side. Why am I going to memo? Okay. So this guy is... Stun and Freeze, right? The shield block is also useless. He's Stun and Freeze, and then there's... Do you mean the normal one or the hidden one? I mean, if it's like only one good stat and the other two are junk, then I kinda... wouldn't craft there, to be honest. Right, there's there's a smith over here as well, the shrine of Azaleon. Uh, Igelon, what does he do again? Slow rest. Oh yeah, this is where you crown for slow rest if you want slow rest. Hmm. And the one in town is percent heal increase, Ignus. I mean, retail and health are like both. It's fucking terrible, though. Okay, freeze rest is honestly useless, right? You just pop a hot frost, and that's it. It's not, it's not useless, useless, but it's kind of useless. Stun rest would be okay now that I lost some stun rest, or I just go like for the good old anger and like pierce and armor and stuff like that, you know. Oh yeah, what about like the pet components? Isn't there like mirror, edge mirror, this one? Don't you want this in like your head and chest? That should be good. Bad chest? At least for the chest, right? Ten percent speed better than twenty percent damage and proud. I definitely want like a scaled hide in the pants though, right? You never knew about the hidden smith in FG. <laughs> but now you know. Double mirrors what you usually wanna play, right? Yeah, I think so too. 
So you play like double mirror, double like sacred plating, and then you need to like somehow fix your chaos and mitras. I mean, I guess this one would fix chaos res. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, stun res, shit. Should I craft for stun res now? Serious on pets, maybe. I mean, yeah, it's not that needed, I guess. You're not getting hit anyway, right? And if you're getting hit, then, I mean, you don't need to, like, you can't leech anyway. I'm gonna put some physique, right? How much? Do I need to put? I have fifty percent fizzers, right? My pets are have, my pets have sixty three percent fizzers, and I have fifty percent fizzers. Like, what is the spill, dude? Uh, I'm not even like trying to get fizzers. I just have it. I just have it. Okay, I need more pierce rest now. I need pierce and anything, I guess. Pierce aether, pierce chaos. Maybe some pierce bit even. I mean, that's fine. Okay, let's. Should we make like double edge mirrors now? <clears throat> I mean, I have the. I have the mats, right? I can just make it. Maya did the guy across with like 40 petrify in the league. I guess, yeah. So, eight focusing prisms. Okay. Oh, and one more arcane lance. Wait, you can't even craft that, right? It's a drop only. How do I only have seven arcane lances? Ah, I've been expecting you, human. Yo, Neo Rome. Thank you so much for the Prime. Welcome and welcome in. Much appreciated the support. Thank you so much for the support. Welcome to the Bloomers. How do I how do I farm arcane lances? That's a random drop, right? I only got seven in the entire run so far. That's crazy. Oh well. Interesting. Two bounties. Uh, uh, dynamite, dynamite legendaries. It's not a bad idea, actually. Like, all the low-level legendaries are honestly useless anyway. They're all fucking useless. Kinda. They're like... I mean, you can, like, use a weapon, sure. Like, Stone Fist Rebuke. Always is the best weapon in the game, right? I mean... <clears throat> not really, but... Uh... Ah, shit. Now, careful to not... Do level. Need to do like level. I don't know. Not 80, right? Not 80 and not 90 stuff. Okay. I mean, it's gonna be enough, I think. Now we need to craft some dynamite, right? We have only four dynamite. Let's go to Homestead, make some dynamite. Yeah, most of the gear is kind of kind of trash. Not gonna lie. Even the legendaries are kind of trash. Okay, got some dynamite. Oh, I didn't even do the quest yet. Okay, there we go. Now we can. Argate's formula. Don't wanna go there even. Okay, I need what? Arcane Lens? 
This is basically Gumba now. Gumba, Gumba, Gumba for Arcane Lens. Oh, got a Manticore Eye though. That's not too bad. Okay, Mass Dismantle Worm. Great. Mass Dismantle Worm. Guess we gotta feel the weight. Oh, skeleton key. It's not too bad. Bloom. Okay. Log the fucking. 94, 94, 94, right. Uh, okay, here. 94, 94, 94. Okay. Now you wouldn't want to dismantle the Levi ring, right? You want that for like leveling. Okay, so far, zero arcane lenses. That's... Slightly unlucky, isn't it? about these pants by the way, I mean these boots. Death Walker's Grace. They're not too bad. Not even mythical though, not even mythical. Hmm, I think I've got zero so far. Zero arcane lenses. That's interesting. How the fuck do I? Most gear and RPGs kind of just fitter. I mean, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you kind of want to use this as a pet bird, right? You kind of want to use this. Honestly, right? You would use this as well. Legendary random drop though, so I don't know what using it right now to ask. Okay, how do I get Arcane Lance? Fuck. I literally only need one, right? Like one fucking Arcane Lance? Come on. Maybe it only drops like from certain bosses, let's see real quick. I don't think so, but it's actually Search Chrome tools for it. Maybe there's like a like a drop table for it. Arcane lens. Nope. It's just like random drop pool, right? Just a rare random drop. Hmm. Mirror already on the chest. Yeah, already fucked up. I mean, I just use the. I'll just use this here again, it's fine. For now. And then I need Aether Pierce, right? That's from... From Melmo. I mean, here it is in my hand. First time Grindon history, somebody has been short on Arcane Lens, yeah. See anything you like? Kind of feels like that, to be honest. Iron well met. 
One and a two and a three. Should be good enough then. 29, 31. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Could do like one Pierce Chaos, I guess, from the Coven. If you really wanna go that far. So yeah. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. See you around. Let's set up this, right? 46, 32, 39, 9. That is like probably more than you ever need. Considering 1.2 doesn't have as much RR as anymore as like previous patches, but better be safe than sorry. No second seed of might. That's a good point actually. Should just use a second seed of might and I like put more More Aether Chaos again, I guess. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, you're right. No, you're totally right. Does overmaxing grass do that much? Well, there are some curses in the game, right? That like reduce your resistances, and if you get reduced like below 80%, say you get reduced from like 80% to 60%, right? Because our curse has like minus 20% resistance reduction and you have no overcap, then you literally take double damage, right? And that's like double damage is a lot of damage, right? So you'd never want that to happen, really. I mean, I'm maybe like over-preparing a little bit here. Probably, but... Like, we need to get rid of the Aether Pierce again and like put Aether Chaos and stuff, right? 35, 20... Yeah, yeah, one more. And then I think we're done. And then I need to get the Ravager's Eye again because it got removed from the uphand. Dude, imagine if there was like a hub where you had all of these vendors in one place, right? Imagine that. And you wouldn't have to like hold around like this. Let's start playing Grandon again. So, um, in one point, like in the last patch, or like in the patch that's still currently the standard life patch, in 1.1.9.8, you wanna ideally like overcap resistances by like 35% at least. Um, some ideally more, some less, but around like 35% is what like the number that you want. Uh, I think with 1.2 you need a little less, maybe like 25%. It's fine now, but you definitely still need some. Your Mergras Pokemon. Okay, we got 54 Fizzras now. The pets have... 67% Fizzras. Okay, I guess we can... Warm up some bark, but some Gargaball now. Gabagool. Should I craft Primal Instinct Relic, or is that unethical to get some actual damage? I have like tons of Swarm Rings that can also apply bleed damage, maybe, I don't know. It's probably unethical, right? Uh, we're gonna do the circles as well, for where we're going. Let's not miss the side quests, I wanna get rid of the side quests. I wanna clean them up. Maybe we're gonna get an arcade lens from the side quest, right? Who knows? That could be nice. We tried Acid Cadence with Watkins Claws. It's okay, I guess, on the level. Two piece venoms, venom, whatever it's called against the venom blade. Really? And I guess it's like the best, apart from green, maybe. 
I mean, you have like green shoulders and boots. I mean, pants rather. Those are always like the best. Yeah. Blue gloves for attack speed, right? And then like the purple boots or like green boots, I guess, but like the purple sell more damage. Gut worm mark. Oh, the stone plate girdle is actually kind of nice. Death soccer. I mean, Death Soccer says Poison RR, I guess, yeah. Hmm. It's like no flat damage though, right? I mean, uh, there's a bit of flat damage actually, never mind. The good thing I'm playing a pet though, right? I can just like... Look at Devotions here instead. Um... So, you have... You go a bomb. Oh, the, the things died. Okay, cool. Already killed last Epos and Lokar. You'd use everything now. I mean, everything, everything would be like me switching this character on my main account and like equipping, equipping like Beast Color set and so on. I don't know if we're there yet. I want to do the dungeons and like. So on with this crappy gear first. Almost. I mean, crappy invitation marks. I mean, devotions are fine, right? 20 points DM. 11 fighting form for AoE. Yeah, I mean, it's quite the investment. I would maybe only go for 6, but yeah. No execution, interesting. I mean, I guess you already have like enough. And the Mad Queen's Claw doesn't really support execution, right? Like, yeah, we have generally like no gear that supports ex execution. And still, like, good weapon for this though, like, a really good one. Point start RF. I mean, yeah, you also have six points in fighting form. Which is generally not bad to have, but it's just. A lot, of, a lot of points. All runs. I mean, yeah, it's the only one that works. All runs rage for OA. Also, it turns armor only one point because two points start. Makes sense. So you have still a like, good armor with the belt. The soldier belt is pretty good. I wonder, like, how Raynan's versions looked of, like this, uh, like versions of this build looked like because I remember him playing this build at least once, maybe twice I would have to ask him You got Prime Instinct on Elite as well <laughs> Dude, what is this? Like, it's kinda crazy Yeah Yeah, I think I also got an Elite on this character actually or even a normal, like I got it super early as well it was fucking crazy Farm the eyes on elite too. I mean, there's nothing wrong with like farming mats in elite, honestly. It's like the same drop chance, pretty much, isn't it? Like for the. I mean, you have like less spawns, I guess, and thus you have like a bit less loot because you have less spawns. There's the same mod with like stumps, and the stumps have the same drop chances for the blooms as like like an elite or an ultimate. There's no shame like farming on Elite honestly, like especially on this patch here, it's totally fine to be honest. Yeah, yeah, don't bother doing totems, I guess. Like totems have a way less like way worse drop table, that's true. Like that one actually properly scales. But like the the loot table of like the stumps, I don't think it scales at all, I think it's the same. Drop table on all difficulties. And from the individual elites it's also the same. Alright, let's go. It's just you get you get like slightly less Ugden blooms because you have less elites spawning in. And they can also like drop blooms, of course, but other than that, you get the same amount. I 
Like the screenshot of the tooltip. On the dick sword, I mean what? Uh, okay. Huh? Okay, this is a dungeon, an actual dungeon. Like, maybe I should like look at the screen sometimes at least. I don't know. It's pets though, do I really have to like, look at the screen? This is like Uber Lilith, right? You can just play it blind. And that's like the hit of Cadence itself, right? It's not like your average damage hit. It's only like every third hit. Or like second hit, depending on like... I mean, it's most of the time every second hit, let's be real, dual wield. I mean, not always, but almost always. Honestly, I think like these tooltips are like so hard to compare. Like just seeing like kills and bosses is like easy to compare them up, you know. Like the numbers aren't bad, of course, on paper, like they're not bad, but I got the the weapon damage and grunt tools. Why does it sound like stop when I'm odd tabbing? It's annoying, honestly. 30, oh yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty high, not gonna lie, so almost 40k is pretty good. It's not quite Razin level, of course, but I mean, not, nothing is like Razin level, to be honest. Oh shit, Deathstalker? So this boss is like a bit scary, and it has like a... Like an exclusive blueprint relic that can drop. Which, which spawns another pet. The problem is like that pet is a player scale pet, so you couldn't like you wouldn't be able to scale it as a as a pet build. Elixir of Mok Drogon. Oh shit. No shit. This is actually Ah. Huh. I didn't even know pets have something else on top to use. Well good to know. Familiar projector and pet basic attack. Interesting. Bargol's core. Hmm. Has anybody like ever tried building around this one item? Is it actually any good? I guess on like, you know. The familiar builds you would play this, but. Interesting. Maya has. Maya doesn't really play around the greens that much though. Like Maya used to be full on no green mafia. Like she would like never use greens in the past. She thought like greens are unethical. But I don't know. They drop like candy though. Like one apex greens, like one rare apex greens are so easy to get. I mean, even like double magic ones. Like, why is she not using double magic ones? And like, some double magic ones are honestly like also better than like. Okay, I'm. They're healing too much. I need to move a bit. I need to move the pets out of the pools. Ridiculous. Like, it's just a bit ridiculous, like, how tanky the pets are, honestly. Like, the damage is not that great. Obviously not, but... They are tanky as hell. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay, let's see how we pair against the Pumble Snake here. Like, Slathsar is actually like a hard and annoying boss for like many player sky builds, honestly. Look at my pet HP. 
What is this? It's not like swimming in blood. Depends on the pet bleed rest that you have. If you fix your bleed rest, which is honestly not that easy on pets, but if you fix it, then... I don't know, they just don't die. Apparently. I mean... Makes sense. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be that scary either. wait for ascended mode honestly it's gonna be hype hopefully i don't know hopefully they're gonna do it in a good way and not just plus stats i mean even if it's just plus stats it's still better than nothing but it will just be like slightly disappointing maybe the right greens are so good they are they are they are really good I wonder, like, if... If the gear progression is fine for pets like this. Maybe... I don't know. Hmm. Like, it is. It is pretty fucking easy. And I mean, I'm fine with like pets having this kind of like damage or tankiness. Once you have actual endgame gear. I don't know if the game should be this easy already if you don't have that yet, though. Which I don't. Not sure.
I mean, I guess the damage is fine. The damage is fair. Like, it's not the damage problem, but like, they are so fucking tanky, holy shit. Yeah, I guess. And it's just kind of like how pets are, right? Like, just ultra safe, slower progression, worse DPS. I mean, they've kind of always been that, and I guess it's fine. But they're never, like... I mean, they're definitely not weak at all. I mean, they never were weak either. But the thing is, um... Certain speedrunners are like not gonna put them in their top 20 videos again and be like, or in their top 20 posts and then be like, oh my god, pets are so bad, right? Because they're not like top 20 like quickest farmers. Well, they might not be bad, but they're still insanely good. Like, how do you die? Pets are all full HP. You have over 50% Fizzras and you're never getting hit anyway. Huh? You get a random corruption of Gargaball, I guess. I mean, just get it. What is that? And the Vanquisher Metal? Holy shit, are you kidding me? What is this run? Hello? First Ancient Grove ever on this character and we instantly get... Vanquisher Mantle and Corruption of Gargaball. Okay, game. Streamer Client. <laughs> Streamer Client strikes again, yeah. So we did the third seal and the Howling Chasm already. Uh, so we just need the first and the second seal from Corbin Sands. Yeah. I mean, it's maybe actually like just fine as it is. Because it is, as you said, it's not very quick. It is rather slow. I mean, it's not like super slow though, right? Some other builds aren't much faster than this. But they're like 5 billion times squishier. I guess it's fine for the most part. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, blitz, blitz, blitz builds are like way quicker for farming for sure. And honestly, like blitz builds are also like really like easy and smooth to gear and to get all the way to low car. The low car kill is also arguably easier on low, on, on blitz to be honest than on this. What means blitz builds? Um, in the soldier skill tree, you have a skill called Blitz, and you can make a build around those, like around that skill. Those are Blitz builds. Uh, they're mostly Blitz plus Shattering Smash because there's like gear, like gear overlap for Shattering Smash and Blitz. So you use Blitz, and then you use either Cadence or Righteous Fervor as a filler in between, which then will proc. Uh, Shattering Smash, the weapon pull skill from Oathkeeper. They're kind of like Blitz Lords, right? Like Blitz Warlord with Shattering Smash on top. Blitz Smash Lords, whatever, whatever you want to call them. And I mean, yeah, yeah, there's also like, well, of course, there's fucking Virus Might Skaters, which are on a arguably different level of broken than pets, to be honest. That's true, Skaters also exist. Skaters are one of a kind. Skaters are kinda like hard to get going if like I mean not hard to get going, but they are a lot less like intuitive to build and they are harder to like level early than pets for sure. But at this point they would be like zoom zoom right. Whereas pets are still kinda like slow and steady. You can target from the dungeon set though. 
Yeah, I mean, Ancient Grove is like the ultimate problem is gonna be to like be strong enough to kill like Gargaboard and Ultimate safely on a skater build before getting the full Vanquish Ascent. Um, and like, doesn't matter which variant of Vanquisher you want to play, you always need the Mantle, right? You always want the Mantle. And the mantle is from Ancient Grove, so you always need to be able to like kill Gargaball. Um, which, I mean, Gargaball's not like super hard, but he's definitely harder than many other bosses. And a skater can struggle a little bit with him, because he's also like mostly dealing fire damage, so he's always like, gonna be resistant to fire and so on and so on. Funny. Gargaball nerfed in 1.2? No, he was buffed. Smile. I mean, or rather, his resistance reduction on the plants, I think, got actually nerfed and removed. But he has Thunder instead, so arguably, overall, he got buffed, yeah. He's stronger than before, even. I mean, not for plants, pets don't fucking care, but. <laughs> He is slow though, yeah. Unless you're like playing a melee character, he's not that hard, honestly. You just have to not mindlessly face tank him and then you're gonna be fine. But he is, at the same time, definitely harder than like many other bosses you encountered before him. Compared to like the bosses from uh, Port Vabri, right? That boss is like a joke, kinda. Charzul? Charzul is actually a boss, I think. Like, he's not that bad. Like, he can hurt quite a bit, and like, if you're playing a fireball as well, he is, uh, well, ridiculously resistant to fire, so it's gonna take a while to kill him on fireballs. I mean, Icos is a joke. Icos has Thunder now as well, though, so you can get caught off guard by him, I guess, but he's really not that hard, even with the Thunder. And then, yeah, like the Mammoth guys, I don't fucking know. They are kind of a meme, I think. Pod Vabri. I mean, not the Mammoth, like Pod Vabri. Yeah. You gotta go here for the third, like the second seal, rather, by the way. Just so you know, right over here. Yeah, the, I mean, the Sunder pools are brutal, yeah. I mean, if you face tank them, you can just, like, not stand in the pool, right? But then you lose those precious seconds. Still playing pets? Yeah, I'm thinking about a new build though. What do I, what do I play next, guys? You wanna see, like... If you play uh, Avenger Water, like pre-Avenger Water, and fall asleep even more compared to pets. I mean, maybe like, you know, pets aren't the, ri the actual ridiculous part in this patch. Maybe it's regen. Maybe it's actually regen. With Devastation Binder. Uh, I mean, I kind of don't want to play Sentinel or Binder anytime soon. I already have a SSF Binder and I have an SSF uh, Sentinel. Like a Starter Binder and Starter Sentinel, so I don't know. I kind of wanted to like play a build for which I have an endgame build, but I don't have a leveling build yet. Like, Water would un unironically be one. I know it's not that bad. Exciting to watch on stream, but it would make sense to do it at some point. Especially now with like regen being buffed in this patch, it just makes like double sense. Elementalist? I could also do Elementalist, yeah. I, w I could do like Promise Strike Elementalist, honestly. Like Promise Strike into Ultus, because we have the Ultus Elementalist friend game. So make a pre old post elementalist. I would do that. Or like pre pyron slash pre ultos I guess. I mean pre pyron would be fire and pre ultos would be lightning. I mean currently I think in the current patch you wanna rather do like pre ultos but and you can also play pyron elementals right I also played that. But pyron is generally better on like sword or shipbreaker. Mm, 
there's like something, right? Where is it? I need to go somewhere still. Was it Infernal Wastes? Oh no, Sandbane Oasis, I think. Sunbane? Not Sandbane, Sunbane. Iron Elementalist is also really strong now, actually. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, I mean, I played it before as well. Like... Oh, shit. We're killing them? Oh, well. Rest in peace. I played it before the patch as well. It was obviously not that great on damage, but I mean, the region was really, like, decent. And the region has got to be, like, through the roof now. And then you can, like, spec a bit more into damage than I did back then. Should be a fine build, yeah. Definitely. Oh, Cyclone. I mean, Cyclone is not gonna be like region based that much, right? Like, probably not at all. But like, just slightly, like, just like a classic, like, Giant's Blood plus Scythe, maybe, and that's it. I mean, yeah, it just doesn't have the same, like, regen and stuff as, like, Iron or Avenger. It's not, like, it doesn't have, like, flat regen on the set, you know? Or does it? So it's just, like, any other elementalist that, like... I mean, it's obviously, like, still great to play regen on any elementalist. Right? Because <laughs> it's elementalist. I mean, you always play two goddess on elementals. Like, no matter what build you're playing, two goddess. Like, literally, always just double goddess. It's so busted. Honestly, if you're playing Pyrian, you might wanna like want one fire RR still. What? No. I mean, what other elementals even exist though? There's obviously Ultos, there's Pyron, there's Cyclone, there's some stun jack stuff with Lights Defender obviously, right? I don't know, I would play Golos on all of them probably. <laughs> Except for Pyron, I would only play one Golos and then like the other one is the one for RR. Blaze Rush, Fire Bonk. Ah, okay, I guess. I mean, yeah, Fire you always play like one RR ring. Right. And on, on real bonk, and region is like the worst on like real bonk. But don't you like still play one? I mean, even on fire bonk, you could like still play one goddess. Honestly, I don't know. It depends on devotions and like your skill distribution, I guess. But depends on how many skill points you can put in like uh, vindictive flame, I guess. Can't kill regenerator re nerf regenerator now. Templar Pyron? Oh, yeah. Pyron without Mortal Trap, Monka. And I guess you just like spam fireballs in a way, like all the time, right? Or like whatever Pyron sets. Wait, do you play Stormfire or do you play the Pyron set, set skill? Is it actually like good now or is it still kind of me? Oh, has percent DR now. 
I mean, depending on the duration, you could still like when you press it every now and then and like use storm fire in between the storm fires still more damage. Like if you wanna like get damage and stuff. What's even happening? I just see that I'm not taking any damage. For, for whatever reason. I mean, I know Pirate's got I've played it before. I know what it does. Except for like the DR being new on top. Uh, like, you could like play two spam skills, you know, right? And like only press the one that deals less damage but has DR if you need the DR and otherwise play the other one. Get the highest more damage. Might not be worth though, just an idea. spam skills I mean what else are you really doing in that but right like your guardians are attacking anyway on their own I mean devastation you like cast like once every 50 minutes pretty much right I don't know and you cast you don't cast cocktail or thermite mines if you're playing Templar either like do you cast judgment or what do you even I mean maybe you play judgment I don't know maybe you don't have to I mean it depends like how many skip points you have I guess for judgment Okay, but like, which which second ring do you play on Blaze Heart, uh, Blaze Rush rather? Also, second ring for Blaze Rush builds. Oh, holy clubs! Don't tank the clubs. Casting wire. I mean, I guess you need to do it for devotions. It's kind of cringe though, but yeah. I don't know, I would rather play two spam skills instead of like using wire. But wire is great for proccing devotions. That is true. I found a sync up to one. Okay. Why not wire anyway? I just don't like using wire offensively if you're not playing a skater, to be honest. I just don't like it personally. But it's just like a me thing, maybe. I know it's great for proccing, but not the biggest fan. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Fire Trade is amazing for proccing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm playing that, for example, on the. I use Fire as well to like proc bat, I think, on like the Aura, aura Dim, right? Which is probably like not that great still. I mean, it's it's actually still good because that build had like tons of conversion for like the weapon bit as well as for Pierce. But... You, will go no you will go no further. I mean, I might not, but my pets definitely will just go further and just drop the stomps here, so. Alright, it's time for the tomb. Haram builds? Yeah, I don't know, man. It would be the last day of me streaming this build, uh, probably. Um, obviously, that conjurer is strong. It might not have the best, like, AoE DPS. And single target DPS is, like, good, but not, like, the best either. But it's just so ridiculously safe. Holy fuck, dude. Everything is so tanky. Yourself, your pets, everything is giga tanky. We have a casual 54 fizzlers. The pets have a casual 67% fizzlers. It's just crazy, man. I still forgot to craft the belt, man. What am I doing? I'm trolling. I was like thinking about the belt earlier. Then I forgot to craft it. Well, I was like talking for half an hour about the belt and I didn't craft it single one. GG me.
I found a scorpion in the oasis for the emirate. Yes. Not even 80% for threats, how am I surviving with this glass cannon? I know, right? Pets are fucking unplayable in 1.2, right? They are terrible. It's a fucking glass cannon. I even have to, like, sometimes use move 2 button, right? Imagine. I sometimes have to move. I kind of never have to wait, but, like, I have to sometimes actually move a bit. I mean, or maybe not. Buff pets, they're dead, yeah. I mean, overall, I like the direction of Uncle 2, the pets. Like, it is feeling a bit bad, more balanced than before, right? Like, Brathorn doesn't deal as much damage as before. And, uh, it's still tanky, of course, right? It's a bit better. And, uh, like, Brathorn is, like, it's better because Brathorn is worse than before. And other pets are a bit better, like skeletons, for example, are finally playable. Uh, so yeah, I mean, skeletons were, I guess, like, borderline playable with, like, certain builds. And now they're, like, really strong. Anyway, I'm, I'm happy with pets in 1.2 more so than, like, how they were in, in 1.198, at least. I mean, they were broken before and they're still like, somewhat broken, but... Not necessarily for like speed, of course, but like for speed farming, they're kind of bad. That's locked. Have I played any elementalists yet? I. Oh, look at that, Ring of Shura. Nice, just get it. Um, I played. Like for a couple hours, I played a end game Ultos Elementalist, which has like also casual, I don't know, like 10k regen or something like that. Elementalist is pretty ridiculous with the regen now, this patch. It's, it's actually a really strong class now. It used to be like a dumpster tier class, and now it's actually really strong. I have not played like stacking totem uh, mortars, like stacking dots on mortars yet though. That's more gonna be up your alley, I guess. I don't know, was it 10k? Something like that. Actually, what is this? Blighted of Soul Warding. Interesting. We just got too much regen for free. I'm not sure if it really did. Like, isn't Avenger like actually still more though? Okay, you're not playing Elementalist and Avenger though, right? That's the difference. So like obviously like something like Ultos Elementalist is gonna have more regen than say Avenger Archon, right? And Avenger Water ah, has less damage. I've been expecting you, human. Yo, Crazy Guitar Mans, thank you so much for the Prime. Welcome, welcome on. I don't know, I need to like, play a proper damage spec for Avenger Water though. I only play like the, the full AFK version, which is... Honestly... Improvable. Much appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the Blue Mirrors as well. Avenger is like his special child, you could say, I guess. I mean, so is Beast Caller, right? Like, I mean, I, I think finally, like, Beast Caller got nerfed a bit, but, like... Dude, Beast Caller... I feel like for the last four years, if you look at, like, actual crazy good, like, pet builds, right? It was just, like, 50 shades of Beast Caller, right? Like, maybe sometimes, like, a custom Chaos Skeleton build, or, like, maybe sometimes, like, a Gaul build. But most of the time, it was just, like, 50 shades of Beast Caller. I don't know. And that's changing maybe like a little bit hopefully. I mean at least it's getting like some nerfs while like other pet builds are getting like some slight buffs. Shifting the balance a bit. 
But ultimately, I don't know. Lost Souls? Yeah, Lost Souls has like some good builds as well, you know, I guess. But Lost Souls used to be also be like dog, like dog shit tier for a long, long time. It's only recently like okay, I think. Another furry, you're not looking at pet builds? Yeah. They're standard one. <laughs> Understandable, understandable. But like, if you only let Maya balance pets, then everything is gonna have like 500 distress and like 7,000 regen and still deal like good damage, right? Because she wants to literally just AFK. <laughs> so I gotta have some other like people who get feedback. Uh, so I'm I'm glad that uh, Yudin, for example, is playing tons of pets recently, at least seems to give like much more reasonable feedback most of the time. And also Maya actually like has changed her place at least a bit as well with this patch, so it's getting a bit better all around. I'm very certain, like very confident that pets are getting uh the pets are A not dead at all and B are more rewarding when it comes to a more riskier playstyle, but you can still like Probably brain AFK a bit, but then you're gonna have like actual shit to your damage, which is fine. That's that's how it should be, but you know. I mean, this is for like a starter build. I think this is still like ridiculously strong. But it's just not quick, and obviously, speed is gonna matter way more in softcore than in hardcore. I mean, even in hardcore it matters, but. Not quite as much. Yeah, like this this room clear for example here is kinda slow as well. And you're never really in any danger, obviously. But it is slow. So I don't know, something like maybe like an elementalist motor trap starter arguably has more damage at this point and I mean you could say like it might be just as safe, but then again for like motor trap to get full damage output you need to face tank. So is it really that much safer? Not really, probably. Yeah, I should try uh, like revisit revisiting fire skeletons as well. I had a endgame Kabada somewhere and that's like giga old at now like at this point, so should definitely be a lot stronger now than before. Is my emulate hard to get? I got it in like ten minutes, but it was very lucky. Um there is a skeleton I mean a skeleton, a scorpion boss in the Sunbane Oasis, or like past the Sunbane Oasis rift, right? Like here in this desert. And you just kill him until you get it. It might take 10 minutes, it might take like 2 hours or more, um, but you're guaranteed to get it at some point. And then you have it. Obviously you can still get like low rolls or high rolls, so you might want to like farm him a bit more than I did to get like actual good rolls. Which can be a bit annoying, but it is what it is. It's not too hard to get. It is probably on average, rather hard to get like a crazy good one, but mine has like average rolls, I think. Very, very average. N not weak, but like pretty much like average rolls. That Immortus is less damage than the uh, Lugigans, you think? And you can just like resummon totems now as well and like stack the electric damage with the totems. Right? Especially like the more summon burst you have, the easier it is. And now it's got like more summon burst as well. I don't know, like the dot stacking from like player scale pets is a bit wonky in my opinion. Just a weird mechanic. throw something away, there we go. 
So this guy right here, right, you can buy pots that nullify yourself here, which are, well, you might think they're not useful, but they are in certain spots. And then you have, like, conduit recipes that you can also buy here now. I mean, or, like, since forever, you can get either zero or one or two conduit blueprints here. And you can reset the vendor by, like, you know, going back to the other room, waiting 15 seconds and then going back again, right? Uh, like going back to the first level and then back and then you can with one key get all the content blueprints in the game like all nine of them or like probably all ten when like things of our second releases um, so yeah that's how you get the conduits and then you just have to like craft the right one if you are playing a conduit build which this one is not uh it's the solile girdle i think like some it's some solar there that gives like plus one to all skills and occultists and also like some fat stars on top. Really not that hard to get. You don't even need to be weir weird to, to craft it, like to get the blueprint, you just need to be honored. Oh, you are like me and you have like tried since four hours already? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it can be... It, it is it is very RNG-dependent, of course. The variance is just high on the rolls itself, and also like on the time that you need to get it. I was also th thinking about the yellow one, yeah. Whatever it's called. Um, I'm not sure if I have the blueprint for that one yet, though. I might not have it yet. Puppet Master's Links, I think it's called. Because you can get like two affixes on that one. And if both of those are like pet affixes, then it's like even better. But yeah, the, the faction one is probably like, the, like easier, right? Entry level, and then the yellow one. And then maybe like a perfect Lunar Vygoth. Not sure. Honestly, you don't really need this on, on this build, to Yeah, you want it for like vitality builds, I guess. I was using this for the pierce rest for pets, really. The elemental to pierce is whatever. I mean, the elemental to vet rather is whatever. I'm not really dealing any vitality. I mean, elemental damage in the first place anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Blizzard is dead. Was there anything that, like, is worth reacting to on BlizzCon today? From BlizzCon today? Is there any, like, hyped news? No. Nothing. Hmm. Uh, just chill here and have your pets tank it. It might take a while though. Like honestly, Morganov is uh, all the DR. It's gonna be tanky. It's gonna take a while. Like all the projectiles that you see flying around, they all have damage reduction, like percent damage reduction. And the further they fly, the more damage reduction they apply. So you wanna have your face like your pet's face tank them for sure. Face tank him rather. But yeah, he's gonna like spawn more and more shades here, and then like at some point it might get a bit sketchy. On the other side though, <coughs> it seems like Todd is working really well against this guy. So it's basically still an AFK kill. Cataclysm classic. Oh shit, they're going all the way to Cataclysm even? Are you fucking kidding me? Is that Cataclysm even like worth making classic content for? That seems... Ay ay ay. The new WoW stuff was sick to you? Alright. Yeah, I, I guess like they're still like doing some decent stuff with WoW, to be honest. That's a lot of what I've, what I've heard like from people like... The classic stuff or the retail stuff and so on. Like WoW is not dead at all. Uh, at least compared to the other Blizzard games.
Touch of Command. Okay. Oh shit, these have 4% Fizzlers. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we also got this one. Black Hand of Sarsin. This this thing also um, spawns Chthonian Devourers, right? Um, this might be better for Bleed, actually, than Salazar's, right? Because... Well, Salazar is only one pet, and Salazar has, like, tons of health and tons of fist damage and so on, right? But... Well, if you're playing bleed, right, you rather want multiple pets applying the bleed. So, this should be better than Salazar's, right? On a pet bird, I mean, on a bleed bird at least. What is this? Crown of Command. Damage, attack speed, areas. Yeah, yeah, you can get three. I mean, it's chance on attack. It's, um... I mean, it's gonna, like, like have a roll to proc every time the Warong Swarm ticks. And what's the cooldown? Five second cooldown, three, seven limit, lives 15 seconds. I mean, you gotta have to, like... Have them spawn constantly, but if you have like the Warring Swarm on an enemy, it's gonna take a lot and spawn a lot, for sure. You're not gonna have like three up all the time, but almost all the time. Wow 2? I don't think wow, is wow 2 ever gonna happen? I mean, they're like constantly upgrading their, their graphics anyway, right? Just like a perpetual machine that works. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, what do I do now? I did that. But oh, that's lame. Hmm. Well, a new game is gonna have like way less content, right? Have you everything? Your grim is the on. Welcome, welcome. Shazba, hello, hello. But Titan Quest 2 is coming out. Why is World of Warcraft 2 not coming out? It's like comparing apples to oranges, so like apples to pineapples, I guess. Apple pants to pineapple pants. Dude, this has to be better. Ah, yeah, I have plus 17 here. <laughs> Holy shit. I only have plus 8 on the base. Brow Thorn. I need like another of the wild suffix, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna equip it. Can I remove the points from the totem? Maybe. Maybe. You don't need it until you need it though, right? You don't need it until you need it. Wait, 
bit hard. When the fuck did I get 22 points to manipulation? The fuck? Oh, the, the helmet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting, interesting. PV2 is gonna kill PV1. Eventually, probably. I guess. Depends. I try to speak less fast. Yeah, I guess. Video was great. Glad you like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to push out more videos like that. I have one basically ready, almost ready, and then there's gonna be more, hopefully, if I have the time. But ideally, there's like one for every single playthrough I made. Let's see if it's gonna be feasible until 1.2 comes out or not. Or like during 1.2, maybe. But yeah, let's see, let's see. Okay, I gotta pull two points somewhere, right? Speaking fast is good though. Generally it is. I mean, sometimes I... I tend to like stutter a bit, right, when I speak too fast. And also sometimes, I mean, some people just don't, uh, like, understand people talking fast because, I don't know, it's hard. And, like, English is not, like, everybody's, like, main, like, uh, how do you say that? Not main, like, first language, I would say, as well. Uh, okay, where do I pull points? Do I pull points here? Stay strong. Maybe. So, I mean, I do understand, like, people sometimes struggling. I just don't have a point of infernal breath. I mean, the dog is useless anyway, so we might as well, like, apply 8% DR, right? It's only for the DR. And we have, like, 18% physical DR here. And this is, like, the 8% DR for everything that's not physical. I mean, I don't know if it's really worth or good. I also don't know if these are good. To be honest, no idea. It's probably not really good. It's kind of useless. But eh. But eh. Okay, uh, I want to do low car once more. And maybe bourbon clones. It's been a while I've done bourbon clones. It's been a long while. Wait, what was here on Q? Oh, right, I had Salazar's pet there, but now it's like they're spawning when I attack, right? Are they spawning? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, we have the... It's it's not... Yeah, we have the dogs, right? The Catonian dogs, the devourers, instead now. Those are cute. Those are really cute. Is there a counter for them? There's no counter for them, right? That's sad. Like, no, you don't see how many you have active at the same time. That's kind of sad. Oh well. Oh yeah, should we vote for next build right now? Should we do that right now? We have a couple of people in here. Let's do it. You can vote now if you want. At the top of the chat there should be a drop down menu that you can click on and then you can select one of two options. And uh, if it doesn't show up for you then you might have to refresh your stream, it sometimes is buggy. Dark one's hurt, I mean, yeah. As I said, the drop rate is a bit high on this on this set. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It is a bit high. Come 
Wonka. Actually taking some damage. Where are my pets? What are they doing? Okay. Wait, which pet relic gives you armor for pets again? Is it is it Mokjogun's other? There's like one relic that gives you like pets uh, that gives pets uh, armor, right? Shut the fuck up, Windows. What do you what do you want? Stop lying. I mean, yeah, Mogdrogon's Ardor is an insane relic, honestly. But it's also a lot harder to get than, say, like, Primal Instinct. Uh, shit, I wanted to actually get another pot as well, because there is, like, another pot you can use as well on top. Um, but I will. Let's just try again like this. The thing with Lokar is, it is kind of hard for him to not attack you. And I know, like, Curse and so on, like, taunt, basically, or, like, draw aggro. And I tried once, like, without using any curses, but then you have, like, no damage. So, you still have to just, like, wait a bit. I kinda, I kinda like low card for pets, because it's not as braindead as, like, most other content on pets. You have to actually actively dodge its own, and not get hit, right? Why am I dodging inside? Oops. Uh, yeah. I misplayed there once, I had to... Make sure I don't die. Yeah, honestly, like for Loker himself, like pets aren't that strong. Somebody in chat said like I overvalue stun rust on pet builds. I don't know, I think against Loker it's still very nice to have an 80% stun rust. This, this was arguably easier when I had 80% stun rush, because uh, he's still pretty much like going after you all the time. Like, he doesn't care much about pet taunt actually. And he had a horrible sword, so like he can deal a lot more damage. Stun rush on pets is super easy to get? Nah, you don't care about stun rush on pets, you care about stun rush on yourself, you don't want to die against Lokar. You don't really care about the stun rush on pets that much. I mean, I think my pet stun rush is actually pretty high. Isn't it? No, 43. It's not that high. Wait, what happened to my Chaos Rest, huh? Didn't I have, like, full Chaos Rest on pets before? Am I stupid? Did the Salazar Blade have Chaos Rest for pets? No clue. But I could just change it with like another Mender's Powder, I guess. Any belt crafting? Yeah, okay, let's craft belts. Uh, let's craft belts at Mammoth then, I mean Sea Cap, right? So we can get uh, Stun Rust or Freeze Rust on the belt. So I could craft this or that, right? Oh yeah, this has a stun freeze rest for pets as well. This has like nothing. Okay, let's just craft this then. Um okay, let's just craft like five billion of them. I have enough mats, right? I have enough iron bits. Let's just craft a bunch. And this is why you wanna like keep all the scrap and keep all the bits, right? So you can do exactly this. And then at some point... Uh, okay, so you just sell all the yellows like instantly, right? You don't even look at them. It's not worth.
Okay, what do we have? Blood letters of corrosion. That is no pet stance. That is no pet stance. That is no pet stance. That is of the untamed suffix. That is Fizzress for pets. Total speed and health. That's pretty good. Of the wild. I mean, it's plus two briar thorn. That's what I wanted as well, right? That's pretty damn good as well. Um, that's bad. No pet stance. Uh, Wraithbound is pet stance. Cage Souls is pet stance. Wraithbound again. Of the wild again. Of the. Oh, shit. I have the untamed again. <clears throat> of the wild. Of caged souls. Dude, you get like pet affixes like crazy now. Uh, Wraith bound. Of the untamed. Of the wild. Prismatic of the wild. Vigorous of the wild. Dude, what is this? Literally all of them are of the wild. And these are both Wraithbound of Mending. Okay. That's crazy. Okay, what do I want? I mean, ideally, right, I want like... Uh, for damage, I want of the wild suffix. So I have like 26 points of Brathorn. Uh... I mean, Untamed can also be nice, I guess. Oh yeah, After Wild has like... I mean, I already, ha I already have this much over... like, overcap, right? It's probably biased as well. I mean, yeah, probably. Uh, what am I saying? Uh, off, off the Wild. Okay, of the wild, preserving is vitreous. It's actually not the worst. Prismatic is, uh, yeah, I don't think we need that, do we? But it is thunderous from the craft. Mystic is useless. I can sell this right away. Vigorous is percent HP. Honestly, kind of bad too. I really don't want the... Dude, that's unlucky, man. The preserving stuff like both road freezers and not the stunners. I guess we're picking this one. Okay, what about of the untamed? Imperious. That's pretty decent. Mystic is Garbo. Preserving is fine too, but it rolled shield block, yikes. Uh, okay, what else do we have? Well, the Wraith bound. Of readiness, of mending, of mending, of frostbound is absolute dog shit. Dude, why is there like four times of mending? <laughs> it's funny. Um, This one is 40% stunners, holy fuck. Do you need a readiness? Not really, right. Not really, not really. And then we have of caged souls and of the untamed. Rude is total garbage, okay. <laughs> Come see what's left of my wares. I mean ideally right you do this until you get like uh like a, a pet rare prefix and a rare pet suffix. But we're not gonna try to like do an unethical build here, so uh my pierce loss is gonna be sub eighty for pets, isn't it? Probably. Oh, and I need more physique. Oh, shit. There we go. Put it to good use. Let's see. Pierce runs. Oh, never mind. Still 80%. Okay, 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 okay. 
I actually want the acid rust from mankind's vigil, that's funny. Mm. Oh, and I need chaos runs. Ay, ay, ay. Alright. So, acid chaos. Or do I get acid chaos somewhere here? Come see what's left of my wares. Is it over? Put it to good use. Is there only one more thing coming? Like they are still gonna do the see you around. The SR portals, right? Do they not wanna test it at all? Maybe not. Maybe it just works. Wait, is it actually already out? Oh, thank you for participating, it sounds. Okay, uh... Yeah, I'll read that in a bit. It's kind of good timing, honestly. Kind of good timing. Oh, I could make the second uh, Eldritch Mirror now, actually, if I wanted to. But I'm kind of like, struggling with my own like Chaos Rest at the moment, so... Having the Sanctified Bone here is not bad either. Actually, let's just like, get rid of it, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, some people cried on the... I, I already have it on my second screen, but I'll read it in a, in a bit. I'll read it in a bit. <clears throat> There's chaos. Yeah, we gotta buy more pure scales. Okay, and this one should be Aether Chaos. Yeah, and then we have like all three of them around like 25% overcap. Not quite as comfortable as 30, 35% I had before, but honestly, it's fine. 1.2, right? It's fine. RR isn't as prevalent anymore, and okay, it's fine. Okay, so you kind of want like a thousand thirty-five, uh, thousand thirty-five uh, physique for the chest. You also probably like want something else there. You want like maybe like a faction thing that has like less physique, but you also need like seven twenty-four spirit for like an actual end game offhand usually, which I don't have right now. But I mean, I mean, what can I do? What can I say? Do we reform rings at level 70? Do I equip the GG metal that I found? That's like crazy. Wraithbound of the wild. This is so stupid. Uh, oh, we have too many points of Brathorn now? How? Oh. Yo, Nigel, are you okay? Welcome on. Welcome in monkeys. Any monkeys in chat? Nice GD stash metal there. Yeah, dude. I just got it at like level 95. 
or something like that. And I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna use that. That's like legit unethical. Dude, fucking 1.2 gives you crazy items sometimes. Like actually crazy, 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 crazy items. But that's like that's why I said like, I'm not gonna use it. It's just while you can get it easier now in this patch, it is still pretty unethical. I don't know. Okay, I wanna try Lokar once more, but that's well still garbage stun rest. I also what what did you guys vote for for next build here on the stream? Let's see. 18 people voted for Elementalist, only 3 wanna see a water. Well, I mean, yeah, water is just boring, I guess. I don't know. Beginner Wraith Bound of the Wild. Yeah, just get it, man. Just get it. Just get it. Forty-eight percent stun rest against Lokar is terrible. Like, not gonna lie. Like, you really want good stun rest against Lokar. It is. It is pretty fucking terrible. Wait, defeating the Logorian on normal slash veteran difficulty now unlocks elite and ultimate for that character. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's huge. Why am I playing elites all this time? Why did I even play elite at all in these like fucking beginner playthroughs? Oh well. Ay ay ay. I mean, that delete episode was kind of... Honestly, I think like for a first time character... It's arguably still fine to do elite. Maybe? Not so boring though. You rather want to do some bounties maybe, or like... Do some dungeons on normal, right? And just like get the character up for ultimate then, and just, then just like start ultimate earlier. Right. You just start like ultimate earlier at level like 60. You miss the rest all rounds. I mean, you can if you like do it correctly. You can definitely like play ultimate without like the rest all rounds for, for the armor. I've done that like a lot of times already. It's, it's, if you do it right, that's fine. That's gonna be in the more. I mean, you can be like so crazy to like get revered with like Mammoth and Normal and so on, but I don't know. I think they just need to like buff veteran XP a tiny bit, like maybe like 20% instead of 10%. I mean, you can also do like 30% like in the league, but I think like 20% would be fine for the base game, honestly. And then uh, we're good, right? Oh my god, dude. Like, that's why he wants to stun rest, right? I got fucking stunned there and then. Get shotgun, but a thing afterwards. Kind of surprised he didn't attack me that much so far. He was mostly going for the guts, actually. Holy stun! Yeah, you want? Don't don't fight local with 48% stun rest. Just don't. Like try to get some more stun rest on your affixes or like on. Like even if need like I don't know if you're playing hardcore, right? You, you might even want to like play a fucking stun rest component in your your head even. Like, 48 stun rest against Loker is just scary. It's unnecessarily scary, let's say it like that. Just don't get hit. Dude, he has like a point and click stun on you. Like, he just clicks on you and then you're stunned. Pretty much. Right? It's, it's, I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, so that's Loker, right? What about Bourbonium? What about Bourbon? Okay, let's get the Stormheart first. Maybe I already had it? I don't know, did I already get it? No, I, I never went there, right? I never actually- okay, let's get the quest done even first. 
Yeah, you could switch out like Bismian for Dweek Pants, but you don't really want to do that ever because I mean you need the pet stats, right? So yeah. Yeah, pet build is good. Pet build is also very good. Very, very good. Argu arguably... Even better, to be honest. Pets are pretty good. Can I recommend for fresh start in 1.2? Sure, why not? Yes, definitely I can. Pets are strong in 1.2. I mean, pets have always been strong, and this build, for example, is no, no outlier to that, to be honest. Okay, what you want to do for bourbon clones, right, for those bosses, is you want to go here and get this urn, right, open it up. There we go, right? Get the sword. And now with the sword, you just want to go to the Blood Grove. I got Beast Cutter. Nah, this is SSF, right? I have Trash Gear. This character has like 20 hours, 24, 25 hours now on it. But I mean, I pretty much had this gear after like 20 hours. And I had like Salazar's Blade instead of this before. I mean, Salazar's is fine too. I would argue this is probably better for Bleed though. Because it has more away and uh, it's more pets, meaning you can like stack the bleed damage from more different pets as well. It's blueprint. The beast color, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you have the blueprint, you can just craft four heads and then like transmute the other three pieces, right? I didn't get the blueprint there. And then you just drop a stomp everything, kind of. Oh, look at that, another nemesis. Hello, Benjar. Oh shit, and... Other dude is here as well. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, something like still triggers the sound on the pets. The thunder sound on the pets. At least on some of them. Dude, he just like... He's just melting. Hmm. Then Jar is scary now. I mean, compared to before, he is, yes. But he's mostly scary if just like mindlessly face tank him in a crucible, which is like what most of the runners are doing to get like the best timers, right? I like, to get the best times. Best like speedrun times. only pet items now the sound like oh like is it is it still doing the sound when it's hitting a pet that spawned from a pet item yeah they need to still fix that that's still like a bug basically uh can you guys clip this like uh, the banjo fight right now would be much appreciated anyway um you go to this oak right and if you have the storm heart in your inventory then you get this like text prompt there, and then you get this lore note, this quest lore note in your inventory here. And now with that one, you want to go to the blah 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 depths of anguish, which means the SLT. We better run SLT, I guess. <clears throat> it was probably the same with the harbinger as well, yeah. Like the harbinger might have been like what also sometimes like propped the sound earlier. Because you're right, like I was getting it not as often as right now, but I got it sometimes as well. And that might be because of the Harbinger, but yeah, from Salazar. 
indeed, indeed, indeed. Find the vault. Oh, yikes. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're right. Yeah, I'm beginning it more because there's like three different pets. Like up to three pets at least. What's my movement speed? It's still like not maxed, right? Fucking... Oh my god, 131. I should craft at least the, the Mogdrogon thing, right? It has like 2% more, I think, than the Mark of the Traveler. The Mark of Mogdrogon. Knocked on from spam, got removed. Hell yeah, just like in the league. Yep, 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 yep. yep, yep. I like it, uh... Zenta has been doing several changes that I've been doing in the league already. I don't know, it just like feels good to be proven right, you know? Feels good, man. Later looks playable now, Hog you. I mean, it was obviously playable before as well, but like... It, it felt just weird to have to like... Run behind, like, run after enemies that you're not like one-shotting. When you're playing spam and I mean obviously like many bosses have like a hundred percent knockdown resistance anyway, or like five hundred percent whatever. But like some elites and so on, they didn't, and then it was weird. After all these years, yeah, I mean all it took is like a couple of leagues, I guess. A good community that has an interest in perfecting this game even more. And then like devs that also want to do it after all these years though. That's good, that's good, that's good. Did Xanta like, contact us beforehand? Uh, he did, yeah. About several things, actually. We had a talk over Discord, like in, what was it, like July, I think? Something like that. He actually also sent some, like, crate officially actually like sent some money to us as well, actually. Um, I'm not sure if it all arrived yet, though, because they had to, like, send it in, you know, in, in portions, because otherwise it was getting flagged for, like, money laundering or something like that, probably. Not sure if it, was, if it has all arrived yet, or if they are scamming us. <laughs> I mean, they're not scamming us either way, right? I mean, all of this is, like... Uh, mm -hmm. oh well, okay. I, don't, I mean, I don't know, like, how much they initially wanted to send us. But at least some of it has arrived already now, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, like, EU, like, money laundering laws are making it a bit hard for them to send us money, to be honest. They wanted to send more. I'm not, I don't know how much they wanted to send, though. All I can say is, some money has arrived. Not as much as uh, I thought they were gonna give us, and also not as much as they thought they would send us. And I'm not sure if they are gonna send more or not, but we'll see. I mean, every single cent helps, that's for sure. One grand? I mean, currently, what has arrived is less than one grand. But I'm pretty sure they wanted to send more than one grand initially as well, so... Developers being crates, paid shills confirmed now. Well, I guess it's official now, right? <laughs> We're nothing more than paid shills. Yeah, 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 definitely. Dude, if they're like hiring like uh, another game designer, I guess it's like the only spot for which I could maybe like, you know, maybe apply. Because that's basically what I've been doing all this time. But I mean, I don't have like any like actual game designer degree. And other than that, they're like mostly hiring programmers and I, well... I don't really know the program, I mean, the little, like, Lua scripting that I did for the league and so on, like, I don't know, barely counts, honestly. 
I played a fuck ton. I mean, yeah, it could be like... I mean, for example, last Epoch, right? They hired... What's he called? They hired, like, Carve, right? Cabo Roscu, right? Like, he's an actual, like, game tester slash designer for... For last Epoch. Like, he actually got hired. I mean, I don't know how much he's getting for, like, that position, but... He is part of the actual official team. I don't know. Yeah, the other issue is like create is US only, so like it's they can't like I need to move to the US, become like a US citizen, so they can like properly hire me. Zarthuzan also has like bullshit um what's it called? Like bullshit stun by the way. There's several reasons why I think you want the like hundred percent, I mean eighty percent stun rest rather. On a pet build even. I mean you are fine without it, but it's definitely like more chill and more comfortable with 80% stun rest, especially on hardcore at least. As a consultant. I mean I guess consultant is a very like broad uh what do you say that? Like a very broad definition for like a like a position. Just become a proud American. Honestly, I would rather not. Like, I really never wanted to be American. But... Like, if anything would make me become an American, or like, make me consider becoming American, it would actually be a job at Crate, like, not gonna lie. But there are like, several other reasons why I don't want to become an American. Honestly. Oh shit, okay, let's focus the regen guy. Otherwise we have to make an angry pulse on the forums if we can't get regen, right? American healthcare, yeah, that's one of the reasons. That's one of the reasons. It's not the only one, but it's definitely one of the reasons. I don't like guns a lot. <laughs> that's another reason, yeah, I don't like guns. <laughs> I, I really don't. And I, if I ever have kids, right, I want them to, like, not have to, I don't know, like, have guns either, honestly. I, like, have to be close to guns either. Suburbia hell? Yeah, that's another reason, yeah. That's already three reasons, at least. We'll get you trained up here in no time. I mean... I think the average American person is a really, like, nice... I mean, okay, like, I feel... I think, like, the average, like, American is... There is no average American, right? They're very diverse. So, like, the American people is very diverse, like, depending, like, where you live. They can be like, what the fuck is this? Is this new? Is this bugging out? I mean, it looks cool, but what the fuck is it doing? Decaying infrastructure? Uh, I mean, we have that a bit in Germany as well. It's maybe not as bad, I guess. Depends where you go in Germany. And I guess it also depends where you go in the US, right? Like, you wouldn't want to go to, like, West Virginia, I guess, right? That is, like, all the rust belt is a bit... I mean, I think the people there are probably fine, and, like, everything is fine there, and, but... So much decay in a way, unfortunately. Which is sad because, like, I feel like those states used to be like pretty much the most interesting in the US, but they. Like a pre, like a pre decay Detroit or like a pre decay Chicago. I think those are like really interesting cities actually. But nowadays, I don't know anymore. As someone who is from Virginia, I can agree you don't want to go to West Virginia, yeah. Take me home, yeah, like, more like, please don't ever touch me. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, as I said, like, the people are probably fine there, and they are nice, and... Just, like, living there must be a bit sad, like, at least from, like, what I've read and seen so far. 
what I've heard. I was never there myself, so I can't really like... You know... Tell from experience. Okay, why the fuck is this not fixed? I mean, not... Done? Did some ghost like wander off on the other side, or... What is happening here? Hello? Koto? Are you okay? Where's my loot? Give me my loot. Did someone like spawn below the ground or something? Okay, there was like some random mob like in that group. I guess that was part of the totem for some reason. Just become alcoholic. Yikes. I lost the speed limit. 60 miles per hour on the highway. Wait, what is 60 miles? That's like 90... That's like barely 100 kilometers, right? 65 is like 105 or something like that? Wait, don't you have like 80 miles somewhere? Isn't like 80 miles the standard on the highway? That sounds more reasonable. Or 70? I mean, I don't mind 70 miles on highways, honestly. I think that's reasonable. I think that's more reasonable than what, what, than what we have in Germany, but... I mean, I, I don't... I'm not saying I don't like driving fast. I mean, driving fast is fun, but... Is it reasonable? Yeah. Oh yeah, all the fucking- all the units are so fucked up, dude. Like, why can't they just, like, use normal units like everybody else in the world? That actually makes sense. Dude, it's like they're from the Stone Age, like, still, like, measuring things in, with their feet. What the fuck, man? It's like Stone Age measurements. How many- Oz? What is that, the Wizard of Oz? It's like answers, right? That's what it's supposed to be, I guess? I don't know. But yeah. Like, right, the crate developers are from the US, right? Look what they're using, right? They're like using meter... meter radius. They're using meters in their game, right? They're not using fucking feet, like, who, who does that? You know, these 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 traps are bugged. I think. What is happening? What the fuck is happening with the bug? Like with these? Can you can you clip this? Can you guys clip this, or do I have to like watch the VOD again? These are definitely like being weird. I don't know. I mean, maybe they got updated. This is like what they look after the update now. It's weird though. Why am I going here? That's the wrong way. Maybe they're like supposed to be like this, but like why are they- they're like not doing anything, right? They're just glowing, but like not dealing any damage or nothing. It's weird. They freeze? They don't do shit? Okay, now it's some- like, now it actually like spawns the thing. Like, what is this one doing? It's literally doing nothing, right? I don't know, it's- it's weird. I mean, I, I think it's generally a good idea to, like, make these, uh, be a bit more, like, good, like, easy to see visually, but whatever they're trying right there, it seems like it's only halfway done, and that's buggy. Is this from my pet ability? No. No, no, that's, like, the SOT traps. See, like, this one, which, like, spawns, like, the, the, the stuff, right? But then after it's like gone, it like still lingers and glows. This is weird. Like, it, yes, it spawns and triggers and then like it shoots stuff, right? Or like has the flames. But what's it do? What is it doing now? It's, it's weird. It's just very weird. Especially because it's I think like a one-time thing, right? Like it doesn't work anymore now. The flames are actually repeatable, like they repeat their attacks for some reason. I don't know, it's definitely weird. 
It's a feature until fixed. I mean, I guess, yeah. It is, it is a feature. They've changed to... They've tried to change over to Metric twice in the US. Neither time it worked out. Why did it fail, actually? I don't know, you guys tried even twice. Those boomers. The clock change. Uh, you you're changing uh, this weekend again, right? I and mean, we have that too in Europe in many countries, or like in almost all countries. I mean, we changed last week already, though, from like summertime to winter time. Or like from summertime to standard time, rather. Daylight savings, I think it's called. I mean, yeah. Good more tank, you have decent leech and overcapped us. He's trying to come Dragon again, a normal near a totem. Uh, you can tank him if I dodge the cloud spell, but I still do zero damage. Yeah, you probably need more damage then. Do you have resistance reduction for your damage type? Mm, and yeah, like dodging the cloud is kind of like the, the standard gameplay now, anyway. I gotta dodge the cloud. That's fine. So you just need more damage now. Okay, uh, for the second letter right, you want to go in here. Right, this is where you get the second letter. In this room here in SLT. Which took a fuck ton of time to get to, because, well, yeah. Pets aren't that quick after all, I guess. At least not non skeletons. At least not the bike, without the Giga Gear. You have Assassin's Mark and Imperial's Guardian's Aura, but yeah. Oh, you're probably not critting. You're probably not critting, you have not enough OA. And if you don't crit, then you don't activate Assassin's Blade. You need to crit against him. You can check, like, uh, like if you fight him, right? And then you can check your OA, right? Hover your OA. To, like, uh, check... What is this guy doing randomly in here now? Yeah, he has Soul Rand equipped. Soul Rand. I would assume that's the problem, like you're not critting. Or maybe you have some other damage problem as well, I don't know. I mean, you can link your build, right? If you want. The channel points. Okay, after being to SLT, you need to go to... Ravager's Barb, interesting. I'm just like, saving all the pet items because some of them can be really interesting. This is one of this one is fucking giga garbage, right? This one is so bad. This one is absolute trash. Absolutely horrific. Uh, sure, sure. Okay. Okay, where now? Uh, second page, blah, 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 right? You read it, blah, 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 and then it sounds like Gathonian Rift. Uh, keep in mind, this is a vanilla game quest, so there's only three rifts. Bastion of Chaos, the one in Prince of Strife, and the one in Bloodgrove, and we need to get the one in Prince of Strife. Am I never keeping items for other characters? I'm keeping what's relevant, actually, like... The purples are relevant. The blues 
Most of them are not. Some can be. And, well, some greens, if they have like crazy rolls, can also be. But... Other than that, you either just get the greens on the character that you're playing in a way. Uh, I mean, not the crazy ones, but like the, the decent ones, you just get them already anyway. Like, kind of easily, I think. Uh, blues, for the most part, you also get rather easily. And, well, legendaries are worth saving. I do save all the purple legendaries. Yeah, for example, Eastern Set is good for blue. And there's some, like, good blue gloves or good blue boots and so on. But for most of them, I already have enough anyway on my main account, so I don't really, like, have to save too many on this character. Okay, here's the portal. Uh, now there's another boss over here, like, no, that's not, not a boss, right? it's just like a random elite. Locksmear here, right? He can spawn sometimes. Oh, there he is, actually. This guy here, right? I mean, he can, like, nullify, but I mean, if you're playing pets, I mean... Lol. Coxmere. Okay, where is the portal again? Basically perfect. Didn't you already link the same build? Like last stream. Like literally the same build. And then I looked at it on stream. Oh wait, no 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 no. You were I actually never looked at it, did I? But I Like I never did on stream, but I looked at it like I think already 50 times, like when you were linking it in like other chats. That's what it is. I mean, it's a build, yeah. It is a build. Yeah, in GZ's chat, in uh, Max's chat, in... I don't know, Magifer's chat maybe as well, but definitely like in GZ's and in Maximus's. And I said nothing, yeah. I said nothing. I mean, it looks fine. For the most part. Okay, we got the spirit of Mugdrogan. Oh, I didn't find the runestone. I mean, oh well. Uh, dum 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 dum. Okay, where the fuck is the house? We need to find a house. The house is like in the northeastern corner? Question mark. Yeah, like here, right? Turning the camera too much. What am I doing? I'm gonna go here. And across here. Well, these Caponians, why not? I mean, you don't have to, but might as well. Terminally soft core. And it has 42 Fizzlers. It's not too bad, actually. Okay, word for. Ah, here, and even further north. Here it is, here's the house. You gotta find the house and just walk there and then you're gonna get the quest item instantly in your inventory, right? Get the prompt, means you have the item. Uh, now you can either just like log out, right? Or if you have found the exit and it's close by, might as well go to the exit. You can also complete this, like the dungeon, like go to the next level if you want. Okay, uh, okay now you wanna go to Necropolis. And in the necropolis, you want to go here, right? You see this, like, the small, uh, what do you call it in English? Zipfel? In German, you would say, like, a zipfel, right? <laughs> a zippy. <clears throat> Hello, way. Not, not quite what zipfel means, but yeah. I guess it works in English. Uh, 
Achievement guide when? Do you need a guide for achievements? I think they're all easy enough. There's no hard achievement in Grunelon. Alcove. Okay, what else? Tip is just tip in English. I guess it's kind of just a tip, yeah. It's like when you have like a winter uh, head headwear, right? What's it called? Like a, like a cap, in a way. But it has like. Kind of like the, one of those like um, like Santa Claus hats, right? With the white thing on top, like a beanie. I don't know. Like then that's uh, that's that's like a zipfel in English and uh, German, and that's kind of like what this looks like as well. You can go through there, yeah. And then there's a, a there's a guy here, and if you do the secret quests, okay. What you need here is he says step away, right? Okay, what you need is you need the three letters in your inventory. You need Stormrend and you need to go back to your inventory. And hopefully you have saved the salt bag from level one, right? Hopefully you have saved the salt bag. Because you need the salt bag here to actually go through here. You need the salt bag to open up the way. Time for salt bag. Did I throw it away? Did I actually throw it away? No, here it is. I mean, if you throw the salt bag, you can just like make a new character and like put it in your stash, right? It's not like the biggest deal, honestly, if you've sold it. Alright, there we go. Talk to him. And now you can actually get a new portal here. Fog. And this looks awfully similar to the one place where you fought Lokar, right? As well. Oops. What am I doing to my pets? Am I fine? I'm fine, right? Okay. Now, there is no door here, right? What the fuck? But there's a torch. Oh, another portal. Can't make new character if it's FSF. SSF? I mean, you can still. In-game music? Yeah, we can do some in-game music now, since, like, the music kind of stopped here anyway. Sure. Who is this? Captain John Bourbon. What the fuck? End of Act 2 John Bourbon. This is, like, a... Such a throwback to... This is like early Axis Grim Dawn references from like before the game came out. And like at the end of Act 2, you would have like a John Bourbon telling you, This is the end of Act 2. This is the end of the currently playable content. Stuff like that. It's kind of nice. This is like Act 3, right? This is like what this looks like. Act 3 a bit with all the, the crap here, right? Hello, I'm the clone of John Bourbon. I have been placed here by forces beyond to inform you that you have reached the end of early Axis content. But the way is open. The fuck? Kind of funny, and this is like Act 4 in a nutshell, right? Right, and there is still more. There's still more, it's always more. There's more, and then there's another Devil's Crossing here, what the fuck? Yet again? And now it's uh, time for a copyright strike from THQ Nordic, I guess. Um, I mean, you should like have some pots and like use pots here, but we'll try without pots. Hopefully, we don't die. Ah, 
Hallå. Now we can fight John Bourbon and Devil's Crossing. Such a cool like Easter egg, honestly. I mean, it's mostly just an Easter egg. It's more of an Easter egg, I would say, compared to like Lokar. But it's pretty cool. These guys get like insane absorb once they like drop low, so it can get a bit annoying at that point. And they multiply. They multiply a lot. Which is probably gonna be a bit hairy for pets. Because pets have terrible AoE. I mean, it's not like you need AoE for this fight, but hopefully like the taunt of the pe pets is gonna keep up. But so far it seems like they don't care about attacking me really, they just get taunted by the pets. So I guess it's easy for us, like for the pets and me. To do this fight. You wish more bosses had music like this, not gonna lie? Yeah. I mean, you can play the league bosses from the season, they all have like great music. They almost all have great music. Honestly, Lokor has not bad music either. It's fine. It's not as cool as this, of course, but it's still decent music. Like forever. At some point you're gonna like find the what's it called? The final clone of John Bourbon. The final form. Is this the final form? No, this is corrupted forms. Did they change these guns? By the way, are they easier now? Do they have like still stun res? I mean uh, resistance reduction rather. Do they still have resistance reduction? I don't know. They used to be a bit scary because like some of them had resistance reduction. But it might have been removed. I was I'm mostly going here to like check if they sunder, but I think nobody sunders here actually. Hmm. Oh already find a form, okay. Somebody's final form here. Where's the final form? Who's the final form? This guy? This guy is the final form. Now it's the actual final form. I wish the actual final form was a bit harder than he actually is. Like, the, the actual final form could sunder, you know, at least. Maybe. That'd be cool. This fight is a lot of fun when you have fevered rage. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah. That sounds horrible. And here is where you get to the original gazer man, by the way. Don't you look beautiful, chat? The original... Well, meme item with like also experience gain on top. The actual final form transforms into Ravager. Uh, is it still in-game music? Yes. This is still in game music. Captured in engine, yeah. The developers played it in game. <laughs> I mean, it's from Titan Quest, though. Is YouTube a multi-billion dollar company or what? I mean, at least Google is, yeah. Anyway. The build is done. For now. Obviously, you can, like, min access properly. You can, like, follow some... Actual pet players endgame build somewhere in the forum, I'm pretty sure. 
There's gonna be like tons of tons of tons of pen, pet conjurers on the forum. Uh, well, not only Maya, but also like other pet builders out, out there that are arguably even better at the game. I mean, Maya's builds are fine though; they're totally fine. Definitely, uh, definitely, especially when you play like a when, when you wanna play like a lazy pet build, then like Maya's pet builds are really really good. Um, but there are also like others out there that are really nice as well. So. As long as you don't follow like Sinter G builds or something like that, that's that's fine, right? Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna park this build here for the next couple of years, maybe. We'll see. Uh, this is pretty much done here. I'm not sure if I want to play more pets in the future. Maybe. I kind of want to play skeletons, I think, again, actually. So maybe maybe just gonna be like some skeleton playthrough at some point. We'll see. Uh, I already have one though for, well, Defiler, but maybe like a Kabbalist or Ritualist, I'm not sure. Try Ravager now? Fuck. I thought you guys were forgetting about that. Okay, wait. I need to craft, what's it called? Like Elixir of Mogjogan, maybe at least though? Mogdrogan Elixir. Well, why am I doing? Why the 20? Well, I guess we made 20. Oops. <laughs> uh, Ugdan. Wait. I don't have any Ugjan juices. Well, fuck me. Okay, what about Royal. Royal. Royal Jelly. There we go. Oh, I'm making two. This is like a waste. Oh well. I need to buy more rover pots. Oops, yeah, I need to buy even one more rover pot now. Yeah, I'll check out the patch in a sec. I'm still on the old one right now. They didn't change Ravager on the new patch, did they? Did Zenta change Ravager on the new patch? If so, then I should relog and like download it. But No idea. Oh yeah, true, he never tells us. <laughs> New engine just for Ravager? That's crazy. That's crazy, my man. Okay, who's this? Man? Of mines? Okay, it's at least not of flesh, right? So if mines has like arcane balls from totems, no? Um, but I mean, as pet build, that shouldn't be like that much a problem. He can of course like still Sunder as well, and uh, if he's attacking you, then good luck, right? Let's see if he draws aggro on me if I use my debuffs. No, he doesn't. Okay. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Instantly face tank the first arcane. Nice, good job me. Okay, who died? Okay, only the temporary pet, that's fine. Now, yikes, he's attacking me. Why are you attacking me? Stop it. Raven also died. Okay, Ta pets, can you like taunt, please? Okay, this would be like a 500 hour. Um... Oh, right, the arcane removed the pots. <laughs> so you should dodge them. Dude, what the fuck? Why is he attacking me? Stop it. Wait, why do I have this one? I need this one. Oh my god, best totem ever. <laughs> Gotta put it in his face, right? Jesus Christ, pets, can you like fucking. Okay, 
Okay, okay, okay, okay. This seems good now. Like a decent spot here. Alright, 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 alright. I think we have a we have a position now. Oh wait, why, why not going there? Ah, boomer reactions, boomer reactions. Just a skill issue, honestly. Okay. The totem's too far away. The totem needs to be. Uh, uh, why are you moving? Stop it. Oh, no. What? Fuck off. Why are you attacking me? Oh my god. Uh, I used the aggro too early. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I need to pet builds, I'm sorry. I don't know how to solve the aggro properly. Okay, okay, okay. Pets are attacking now. Uh, the totem is still too far away. Okay, we need to put the totem like exactly in his face, right? If that was close, holy fuck. Okay, is this stage 2 now? Uh, not quite yet. Still not quite yet. Okay, he's actually starting to deal damage onto my pets, right? I guess. Maybe? With Thunder, right? He's surely gonna deal the. Oh my fucking god, dude, are you kidding me? That's why you wanna dodge the fucking arcane, man! Oh my god, dude. It's, it's definitely possible, though, right? Uh, why? What, what am I doing? Why am I potting without keybinds? Yeah, that's true. Just use keybinds for that, I guess. Uh, fuck me. But yeah, if you're like actually good at the game, right, and not shorting, you can do it there. Or you just like overgear, right? Like you probably like you just gear properly, and then it's fine. I just don't still without any buffs. Yeah, but yeah, like he had aggro, right? Like the pets had aggro. Yeah, I mean, you can kill Kala on the crate with that build easily, obviously. It would be almost impossible for melee builds. 